locations when our clusters are having a, a, a similar location, but at a local level will be uh, discussed with all the political parties and if possible, if representatives and candidates can uh, visit and interact. That will be a good occasion for everybody to talk and discuss with each other. And eventually the last part, voter participation. During the voting days, we don't know when it is. I think it will be soon very announced. I'm sure all of you will know when likely it is happening. But I think April and or May, whenever it happens, we want to make sure that the entire uh, 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 members and member residents come out in large numbers and vote. Right? And we hope that that will be the basis for also a continued discussion with all stakeholders going forward. We've been doing that earlier as well, but I think we have to keep continuing working with the with the uh, both the uh, uh, stakeholders in governance, in opposition, everywhere to to get our issues uh, highlighted and resolved. So today, what we will do is also that you know we have put together a set of issues uh, in the form of something called as Bengaluru Apartment Residence Charter. I am um, not going to go through it fully now because of paucity of time. Some of those points we'll cover during the debate, but I'll share that copy, and all our members will also receive a copy of that. We'll send it digitally, and we'll also have an opportunity to. Uh, present this and discuss this in detail with each of you, sir, sirs, when we have the time to come and uh, sit with you to explain the context behind that. But broadly what we have done is that we have created a few sections. So there is one section of charter demands that we have said on property ownership and management. It has been a sticking issue for a lot of time. KOA, KSRA, the laws around how do you manage. Sir, it's a, it's a, it's a core issue, right? It's fundamental issue on giving a policy framework for both owning the property and managing that property. Then there's a second section on compliances. You know that a lot of times last year, uh, last time's debate also we talked about STP, environmental compliances. So apartments today have multiple compliances that you need to manage on an ongoing basis. How do you make it simpler, effective, and easier for those compliances to be followed? And the compliances itself to be effective. I mean, at the end of the day, we have to follow compliances for a reason, right? It has to have an impact. So that is one section. The third big section is around public services. So today we are the biggest consumers of uh, services from BESCOM, BWSSB, BBMP, all utilities which are providing a lot of services basically. Right? So I think there's a great expectation that the level of quality, the level of customer orientation, the level of efficiency of these institutions can be much, much better to be friendly to the consumers, cost effective, etc. So one set of, I mean, uh, requirements, uh, requests, which is in that section. Uh, we know that the city is growing. We know that the city's population is exploding. We know that extreme climate events, environmental events are inevitable, right? The city, we have seen so many occasions now, flooding, etc. So we all have to take responsibility mutually to, to account for that, right? What are the environmental safeguards, climate safeguards that we can all together take up is one more section, right? We want to participate. We want to contribute towards that. We are not, uh, uh, obviously, the environment is, is is the same for all of us, so we have we have the same responsibility for that. That is one section. Then the rest of the sections is on urban planning, public infrastructure. We also, I mean, would like to contribute towards some thoughts around that, uh, uh, be it uh, mobility, metro, right, road connectivity, etc. So there's one section on that. Local governance and engagement. We would definitely want to encourage a lot more participation of our own members, RWS, in the ward level. So aspects around how can we activate and strengthen what committee set up participation of citizens RWS in that is, a, is one big part. And finally, we are also talking a little bit more now of social welfare and support. We have a lot of uh, people not only just residing in apartments, but also working in apartments, right? So there are domestic workers. So I was throughout the COVID, I was not afraid of anything else when doing communication, but of only one question, sir saying that people will ask, saying, when will you allow domestic workers to come back? Right? Always the pressure was felt, and it is it is a reflection of the fact that what role they play in our lives, everyday lives. So we, re we recognize that fact. I think to, to look at apartments and apartment residents as enablers of social welfare, support, and livelihood is also important. So we would want to present some points on that uh, section as well. So seven sections, sir. I'll take the opportunity to quickly hand over a copy each, right, and then get the proceedings started with, uh, with Mira. Uh, and then probably later we will also do a little bit more a detailed uh, discussion on the points itself when uh, uh, towards the fag end of this uh, of this program. So without further ado, thank you, thank you, Vikram, and uh, thanks to BAF for organizing this. And it's actually a very good time to organize when the weather is still pleasant and the hectic phase of campaigning has not started yet. Um, it's been a momentous five years. We have seen multiple chief ministers, multiple governments, and uh, here we are after like this 
major thing called COVID that went through our lives. And uh, but here, anyway, uh, back to here, today's event. It's great to see uh, you know panelists from political parties engaging with citizens, and this is something so unique to Bangalore that you find that this sort of engagement and openness and willingness to kind of interact openly in uh, you know this is not something I've seen in other uh, other cities as much. So I, I really want to give a you know shout out for Bangalore and Bangaloreans. Uh, engage citizens, engage uh, uh, political representatives. It's amazing. It's an amazing city to be here. Um, so today we'll kind of uh, you know hear from the panelists on their take uh, on many many issues. Uh, we will look at issues specific to apartments, but we will also look at the larger issues because end of the day our larger concerns are uh, we share that with all Bangaloreans. We breathe the same air, we drink the same water, we uh, suffer the same way through COVID and we are stuck in the same traffic jams. So to that extent, yes, we will uh, talk a little bit about, uh, you know, all the general issues that all of us are, uh, you know, affected by as well. Um, so quickly, some like ground rules, how it's going to be the format. We'll have a bunch of questions from our side and then we'll open up to the audience. And from our side, we'll talk about a bit about policy, some uh, topics related to service delivery, water, and you know, uh, mobility, and so on, and then a little bit about execution. Broadly, that's we just change the questions a little bit because otherwise we may find a sense of deja vu. Five years ago, we had the same panelists, and we don't want to ask the same questions. So, um, yeah. So please, uh, you know, we welcome you to talk. Uh, try to be as focused and specific to the question because all of us know the issues. Uh, what we'd like to hear from you is what you will be doing, what your vision is. So, um, so I think, uh, and in case uh, you know you want to speak in English, Canada, whatever doesn't matter. We can mix up. Uh, we are anyway live tweeting, live broadcasting, so audience will be able to follow. So whatever we are comfortable in, we can uh, be as well. So uh, we'll start with some of the questions related to policy, and I will hand it over to Victor. Thank you, thank you, Mira. I think we'll dive straight in. Uh, 2018 to 2023. Uh, if I reflect back, on the eighth verse the memory and a jog right now here the now size only grow again we have grown in size in the number of apartments and it reflects in terms of number of apartments that we are seeing uh, but have we uh, made uh, visible progress number bfle when we do a reflection of things and outcomes uh, progress that we have done on core issues that we have done i have a mixed feeling right uh, i think in the last five years uh, it started with, I think, uh, uh, a Congress and JDS uh, um, government which came into uh, power first and then eventually BJP. So in some sense, principal three political parties have had a share of uh, uh, participation in governance, if I could uh, um, put it that way. Uh, but still a lot of issues are unsolved. I think that is the... Uh, crux of the issue and I'll dive straight, straight into the first issue of what I mentioned about property ownership and uh, 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 laws surrounding that itself. There is still lack of clarity today. Uh, somehow we get the feeling that the government has not put, uh, all political uh, stakeholders have not put enough focus or attention on addressing the fact that today the growth of the city, the housing format in the city is vertical. There are lots of apartments which are coming up. But to have a very comprehensive focus on building policies, laws, tweaking and reforming policies. Actually, policies are also there. There is fantastic laws. Karnataka Apartment Ownership Act was revised in 1972. I mean, if you look at, read that uh, act today, I'm surprised that in 1972, they had the foresight to put together a bunch of uh, guidelines which are very modern. but Sadly, so we don't even have a competent authority. We have not uh, designated it. We are not implementing it in the right spirit. So there's a lot of difference which is being followed in terms of how properties are being registered. The uh, real estate sector, we have our friends from there as well. Today, Krada is represented. We So there's a lot of confusion and panic and fear among our members as well. There's a lot of media articles which come out regularly saying, you can do this, you can follow this rule, you can follow that rule, etc. But still, at the end of the day, the clarity is not there, right? We have not yet had a very definitive discussion, debate, and closure on the outcome of this whole thing about policy and law around apartment property ownership and property management. I think that is one key issue I would like to 
we have not moved we have not put a lid on that and said this is the law this is how you every person who buys an apartment can ensure that you know you are owning this property owning the land part of the land which is over there you have complete ownership you can run this affairs of this uh, we have learnt a lot in how you can run etc but if that fundamental question is not answered or if that fundamental part the government does not or the political ecosystem does not help us to focus and close that on the on the ownership and policy i think we would not still move forward because a lot of things still relate to that saying that do i really own this place what is my ownership of this place so i think it will be good to at least have a comprehensive uh, mira from my point of view at least uh, 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 a view from all the panelists on saying that why i think one is i think do we recognize that today this form of housing is the is is efficient and and relevant to a city like bangalore uh, and if that is the case then in future can we look at a comprehensive contribution towards bringing together the policy framework uh, the laws towards helping us i mean both enjoy this as well as run this uh, and you know sir that we know we are good at managing ourselves so we don't expect too much of other uh, uh, support but the law has to still be very strengthened so good morning good morning to all the dignitaries morning bengaluru apartment residents charter members i really appreciate all of your efforts for coming together and placing the right kind and relevant issues to enable and facilitate the living in apartments in much more better way and more relevantly addressing all of your concern so probably in this direction the bengaluru apartment association has done its work very systematically captured all possible details probably i think this is the first time i am seeing this really very systematically 2018 meeting and the 2023 there's lot of difference in the level of getting organized it's much more clear probably on this occasion we have a very senior most leader shri ramalinga reddy ji ramalinga reddy sir is a very very well known very popular face in the city of bangalore and he's grown is born here grown here and this led and did many good things so i acknowledge his presence here sri ramlinga reddy ji's presence <laughs> and we have our prithvi reddy the convener of aam aadmi and he is also very vocal and he has been working relentlessly for the betterment of karnataka and bengaluru i appreciate his presence here <laughs> as well as my good friend tanvir always we share very good relation with all of us so tanvir ji is here the national spokesperson of jds and as well as my good friend uh, vikram and as well as meera from uh, citizen matters vikram has done lot of studies i think his entire team nagraj rao's and the entire association has done lot of good work very responsibly on behalf of the apartment residents and the owners they did a lot of good work probably the statement by the very beginning the statement do you believe that apartments are very relevant that's one clear statement you want to understand whether the political party understands this or the government they we recognize this so definitely vikram city is a place to conduct business city is a place to conduct business and we need to understand what kind of density per square kilometer what should be the density whether city has to be compact city needs to be spread out whether it should be vertical horizontal these are the some of the most important definitions we need to understand then only you can get lot of clarity there need to we need to have lot of clarity it is not just 
as we go top also we need to go bottom also the bottom to top matters a lot so cities many a times many of our most in educated people and even the government we don't understand the city is a place to conduct business it is not a place for a resort or a, a jolly place we need to understand this is the first the spirit of city to is a place to conduct business so in this direction we need to work together and get more clarity because aligning with the right thoughts is very important so if we are able to work in that direction the many of our issues can be addressed just like that now it has become a force to reckon and uh, you have come out with a lot of clarity what needs to be done how things can be taken what are the challenges with regard to all the agencies all the agencies need to recognize we need to make city affordable it is not to suck somebody it is not to exploit somebody exploitation sucking should not be there in any of us we need to recognize it's here is a crowd here is the people who are working hard the hard work of the people who live in apartments is making the state city everything to prosper we need to understand first that the skill the talent of these people is giving the greatest strength to the city or the state or a country to prosper and to compete with the entire world that is a very clear understanding i am having very clearly this is very important we need to respect that and bringing everything accountable transparent making everything accountable and transparent is very important probably we need to get out of this mediators mediators brokers probably all apartment all working it is not directly they are connected with the agencies in between i might be wrong or right i don't know that's all left to your uh, understanding but what i have seen many people don't know you don't even know there's the existence of sakal itself urban area people have not understood the existence of sakal itself so many a time they just you know as an association they trying to you know take one middleman's help for all possible work so probably your tracking system understanding and facilitation everything need to be done we def definitely appreciate and with regard to your the first and foremost demands i just a general remarks first beginning i am making these general remarks i'll get into your specific issues specific issues and uh, i can talk about those specific issues also and general remarks why i made this general remarks first if you are having the overall clarity we can take it forward we need to recognize we need to appreciate and we need to understand the vertical growth the apartments is a way forward there is no other way definitely we completely agree with apartment living and the density as a city we need to enable promote support and facilitate in all possible ways we definitely we are completely committed in this direction so in further to talk about the karnataka apartment association apartment owners act 1972 whatever challenges you would have faced let me know we had a recent discussion so definitely with regard to that already the government is faced with this, this matter how best we can bring in what all the amendments in the act and in the rules also 1974 rules also what all the things to be changed rules can be done very fastly whether we had a discussion whether we should go look into the rules or the act so after that uh, you are not come back so whether we should look into the act change changing the rule is is okay for you or the act if you are able to get back to us, the rule is okay we can do it fast when it comes to the act it takes its own time we need to go through the legislation so along with this the karnataka registration act also now the present registration act is not coming in the way of having your full rights of the property only thing in the implementation level it is not been understood only in the implementation levels it is not been very well understood karnataka registration act at present also enable you, enables and facilitates for the complete ownership by the residents percentage wise even now it is there only thing when it comes to the local level when it comes to the people in the revenue department in the respective local agency local bodies so it's been going on uh, each person handling in a different way before coming here i just took that input so that's the reason i am able to give that clarity so definitely 
you want further any more changes also we are willing to do that it's not that you know the law is always subject to amendments corrections as and when people it's a people's government it's a democratic setup it is made the acts and legislation whatever is they are done it is in the interest of the people the framework has been made to help the people to enable people all of us commonly what we agree we can go along with that whatever changes needs to be done definitely uh, it's not that it's a it's you new know, owner won't buy somebody else it cannot be done we'll do whatever changes in the interest of the people definitely will take up let it be karnataka apartment owners association act or karnataka registration act or you want karnataka apartment owners association uh, act rules uh, to be changed we are willing to take up all those things definitely will facilitate and bring in sakal extended to all the agencies let it be fire let it be pollution control board let it be bescom let it be bwssb bbmp all possible agencies definitely will look into it and the more so it is a complement compliance agencies we need to work in compliance and it should not become a revenue model whatever you have stated definitely we agree with that when it comes to the un bwssp uh, whatever changes even in 2016 it was mandatory even for the uh, less than 20 apartment to have an stp you wanted an exemption earlier which your building apartments been constructed before 2016 need to be exempted so which was done only thing is now you want again apartments constructed after 2016 also to be exempted all these things you need to look at look into it to make it sustainable what is uh, right what is better what is sustainable what is a solution we need to look at it and more so making it more viable whatever the grey water or the purified water recycled water to be bought or how it needs to be encreed uh, incentives to be given with regard to the recycling of the water or the waste management how it needs to be encreed or the present system is not very friendly what is more suitable how we can encourage the whatever the composting then the manure to be bought how to enable facilitate all small things but we need to make ensure these th things are very important with regard to the waste management let it be with regard to the uh, whatever recycled water or with regard to the charges separate charges been put up for the stp separately or the common facilities separately commercialization with regard to the bescom all these aspects definitely will look into it and as a political party and as a government definitely we will respond and we need to enable we need to facilitate with regard to all these aspects and any other things with regard to the pollution control board also uh, like it should be it should not become more of in a revenue generation i completely agree we need to have more of compliance related cost to cost we need to allow because it's more to comply and enable and to ensure that the cost is brought down and it should be you know something which is we can uh, uh, acceptable as well as it should be cost effective affordable it should be affordable and cost effective definitely with regard to all the aspect from a to z even rera to everything even the grievance redressal system definitely we we'll look into the redressal system conveyance you want neatly before the oc been issued you want the conveyance before the transfer all possible aspects to be dealt then only the property should be transferred we'll talk to the rera people also with regard to these aspects and uh, take it forward and ensure these are the important things how efficiently we can do hassle free with lot of clarity any gray areas are there definitely will ensure there not be any gray areas and very clearly any any possible person can understand that kind of sops that kind of system can be very efficiently built and will make sure no person should be put into any inconvenience and that is the spirit definitely we'll uh, look into all these possible aspect and take anything more you can ask any questions and uh, we'll take it forward i think i covered all the areas wherever you wanted we have covered all the areas and i thank all of you first of all coming together getting organized and having a aligned with one thought or clarity is very important and more so need to throw more light and all the issues whatever you have taken up is very relevant and it's much needed and it is good for the government also if you can identify this kind of issues with lot of clarity it becomes easy for the government also to deal with it 
and we have been working with Kredai, listening to them. Even we can engage all the uh, stakeholders. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, definitely, I mean, I'm sure all our representatives are clearly aware of all the issues. So we'd like the others to actually add to this as well. Like, please share your, uh, you know, vision and action plan of how you'd like to address these policy, you know, question that uh, Vikram just asked. Sir, Vikram Namaskara. Actually, before we start, uh, the Honorable Minister has set the right mood. It is not debate. It is to coordinate, cooperate, discuss and contribute. And I'm sure uh, coming from a responsible political party, we would also like to set the right mood. But before that, I acknowledge the presence of uh, uh, Mr. Honorable Farmer Minister, Mr. Uh, Ramling Reddy. I reside in this constituency. And uh, Mr. Prithvi Reddy, I started my social life under his leadership, so I acknowledge his presence also. And a man coming from IT background, I work under his ministership, so I really recognize his presence also. And uh, three good friends sitting out here. Actually, the danger of turbulence is not the turbulence. It is the act of logic which we have used of yesterday. Definitely. The Honorable Minister has rightly said, to change the legislation, it, it is really going to be a very difficult task and at the end moment. Since the election is, I don't know when it is going to be announced, but if there is any amendment of the rules which you want to present to the Honorable Minister and it makes sense and we as a responsible opposition would definitely not like to oppose it, we would definitely coordinate and cooperate with the sitting minister. I am an advocate of vertical heights. Who could be a better person than me who has, who has attempted to climb Everest? <laughs> yes, because Bangalore as a city has grown whatever it, go, it could grow. It has, been, it has been a city of 2.12 million software engineers. We are a city which doesn't really need any uh, introduction in the world map. You go initially, you know, when in 1997, when I first went to London, I had to tell that I'm from Bangalore, which is closer to Mysore. Mysore was more popular than uh, than Bangalore in England. But today, everybody, everybody in the world does really recognize the importance of Bangalore, and every subsequent government has really cooperated, coordinated and worked for its development, whether it is from H.D. Devagauda, responsible for bringing ITPL Park, whether it is the Congress government and the current BGP government, they have really, everybody has contributed. But there are certain areas which definitely needs uh, attention when it comes to the development of water supply. We can't really we can really live without IT, but definitely not without water. Bangalore definitely needs stronger, greater, smarter planning for water management. The amount of rain which we receive is good enough for us to really take care of 50% of our water requirements. But we don't have systematic scientific planning to converse that water and to make it into uh, reuse. Public health and municipality hospitals. I, I want to really congratulate the Honorable Minister for starting better late than never, uh, the, num the, the hospitals, the clinics. This is absolutely a, a, a great uh, initiative. <laughs> See, if you, if you really want me to talk about apartment, apartment, no. Apartment is part of Bangalore. We need to really speak about sustainable energy. We need to really talk about uh, uh, um, alternative fuel. We need to speak about uh, uh, green mobility. We need to really talk about a lot of issues. It really, but unfortunate thing, where I have spoken so many positive sides, we need to really dwell upon the negative sides also. We never had a mayor with any power for a pretty long period. We need a mayor who is not going to go to the doorsteps of an MLA to take permission. We need to have an, a mayor who is going to be self-sufficient, powerful enough to work only for the development of the city. That's, that's something. But this is definitely... Okay, before I forget, 
Last night when I spoke to Kumar Swami and I told that I am going here, do you have any specific message? He said, Nankade in the Yadnit Kon Namaskara Madi. So this is Namaskara from Kumarana. Knee jerk action. Bangalore always, and especially uh, the Bangalore is a city by the people, for the people, and to the people. And you are the one who has really developed the city much better than the politicians itself because Bangalore is the most active city. But knee jerk reaction. Whenever there is a fire in Balandur, we come with protest. Whenever there is floods, we come to protest. I don't think, you know, Bangalore definitely needs protests anymore. Bangalore definitely needs deliberation, debates, and then we definitely need to decide how to make. This is the most greatest city on the planet. We are going to become one trillion economy. Whether we contribute or we don't contribute, we are definitely going to become one trillion economy. Who is going to be uh, benefited out of it? You, me and everybody. Everybody is going to be benefited. And regarding a specific question about uh, KSRA and KAOA, we, coming from a responsible political party, since the government which is there in power is BJP, if you give the right set of rules to be implemented, we would definitely like, like to work with the government of the day to make your lives better. But one important thing I would like to tell, most of my friends who are contesting, whenever they are coming into your doorstep, you are closing their doors. Don't do it. Please open your doors. Hear us. All the three political, four political, five political parties, even independent candidates, please hear us. Open your doors. You have given a charter. <laughs> yeah, even if you don't hear us, please see us. Please. Because this is, we are very concerned. We want to work with you. This charter is a beautiful thing and uh, let further questions come and I would definitely like to answer uh, to the further questions a little later. But whatever rules you are going to give it to the government of the day, if they are willing to implement as a responsible opposition, we will stand by uh, the rules which is given to by you. ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕೂತ್ಕೊಂಡು ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದಲ್ಲಿ ಭಾಗವಹಿಸ್ತಿರೋ ಸಮಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಮೊಟ್ಟದ ಮೊದಲನೇದಾಗಿ ನನಗೆ ನೆನಪು ಬರೋದು ಹದಿನೈದು ವರ್ಷದ ಹಿಂದೆ ನಾವು ಮೊಟ್ಟ ಮೊದಲನೇ ಬಾರಿ ಸ್ಮಾರ್ಟ್ ವೋಟ್ ಅಂತ ಒಂದು ಸಂಘಟನೆ ಕಟ್ಕೊಂಡು ಇಂಥದ್ದೇ ಒಂದು ಚರ್ಚೆ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ನಾವು ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ಒಂಬತ್ತರ ಚುನಾವಣೆ ಮುಂಚಿತವಾಗಿ ನಾವು ಇಂಥದ್ದು ಸಂವಾದ ಮತ್ತು ಚರ್ಚೆ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರಾರಂಭ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ so congratulations to bf you have taken it to a different level all together aa kaladalli nam mans nalli iddiddu beer beer vishyakke ondu vote bank irutte nijavada samasyegalu jana janara vishyagalu mele yavudu charche aagtilla ya pakshanu maataadtirillilla anta naa aa charche shuru maadiddu so ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗ್ಲ್ಯಾಡ್ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ದಿವಸ ನಿಮಗೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ವೋಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕಿನ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಇನ್ನ ಪರಿಚಯ ಆಗಿದೆ ವೆರಿ ನೈಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಇರೋರು ಮಾತ್ರ ಅಲ್ಲ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ದೋ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎನ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೂಯೆನ್ಸ್ಡ್ ವೋಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಎನ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೂಯೆನ್ಸರ್ ವೋಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಈಕೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹೂ ವರ್ಕ್ ವಿತ್ ಯು ವರ್ಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಸೆಕ್ಯೂರಿಟಿ ಗಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಮೇಡ್ಸ್ ಡ್ರೈವರ್ಸ್ i think it's important that you go beyond your own comfort zone and start discussing issues especially issues that suffer they suffer from because kelu sati nanage ansudu they are the people who need give good governance much more because people who are at a certain economic comfort level can somehow manage they can't i think group housing is no longer a matter of choice for a city like bangalore not just apartments but group housing is the way forward it also makes the city city more efficient more manageable 
So I don't think there should even be a thought on that. Bangalore has uh, horizontally grown really big. The city is growing. We need to acknowledge it. Almost 1,000 people coming to live in Bangalore on a daily basis. So it's you need to have uh, solutions. Quite honestly, when I look at the uh, charter you've presented, the first thing, Churche should not be about policy. Churche the terms of engagement. Are we ready to accept that this difference between citizens and government will be bridged? That you become st stakeholders, not just of the city, but in the way the city is governed, in the way the state is governed. Let's acknowledge that some of the best solutions will come only when you acknowledge the fact that the citizens will know the best. Undu area nalli, undu rabies ira nai kachita idre, adu yar officeru kacheri nal kudkunda or gotagala. It's the people on the ground, it's the citizens. So I think this was already provided in the 74th Amendment. If it's truly implemented in spirit, I think we will get what we are looking for. Another concept should be that we need to acknowledge that some of the best solutions are today coming from people. Delhi Sarkarada Kelsidrali, most of our solutions, whether it's the happiness curriculum, the entrepreneurship curriculum, um, a lot of the programs have come the ideas and as well as the implementation has come from NGOs and subject experts. So I think it's very important that people partnership has to become a core uh, center of uh, any party's uh, manifesto. Debate is extremely important, but I think more important is delivery. I think you should make it a part of your format that whatever we say today, like we said in 2018, I think you should have a report card and present it to everybody saying that this is what you said. Because unless you see what promises are delivered, we will be debating the same things. I don't think the problems that we discussed in 2018 are very different today. The magnitude may have increased. Uh, my request is that to all my colleagues from different political parties, let's make not just BAF but citizens of Karnataka part of the government. Thank you. Sir, really? We'd like, look, please share your uh, ideas and thoughts, sir. Ma, come to the left, Mother. Come for Tiger. Doctor. Ashwat Narendra, Hayanama, Tanvir, Ruthi Reddy, Ella Aurora, Paksha, the apartments, Bagge, Yen Marti Venadana, our Anubo with Melo, Heli there, Mundi Ken Marti Venadana Kuda, or Kuda Heli there, Nana Yapat, Yambat Morelli carpet ragidu, Yambat Morelli Bengalurlu, and the apartment to Irlila, Undu Irlila, Chitramala apartments, Namanea, first black Jaina Garalitu. First apartment is in Bangalore. Chitramala apartment is in the fourth black complex. Usha apartment is in the Malaysia. There are in the Malaysia. There are in the Malaysia. individual sites are in the Malaysia. There 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 are in the Population Niga on the Urkoti Agide, Buri Nama Rajorella, Bere Rajel in the Mandir Takar on Tarala, Desha the Alla Bagdinda Kuda Bandu, Sakashto Sankanelli, or to Nama Rajeli, Nama Visheshwag, Bangalore, Ali, Nelsidare, Sahajwagi, Jaga Sakagadilla, apartments go Borake Praram Baito. Iga outskirts and two on the Yenta to Vidan Tabak Shetrali. Apartments are just a part of it. Amale apartments issues are very, very irate. Amale on the 
ಎಂಟತ್ತು ವರ್ಷದವರೆಗೂ ಕೂಡ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ರಲ್ಲ ಇವರು ಮೈನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ಗೆ ಬರ್ತಿರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಓಟ್ ಹಾಕೋಕ್ಕೆ ಬರ್ತಿರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಇವರು ಓಟ್ ಹಾಕೋಕ್ಕೆ ಬರ್ತಿರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಬೂತಲ್ಲಿ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇದ್ದರೆ ಒಂದು ಮೂವತ್ತು ಓಟು ನಲ್ವತ್ತು ನಾಟಿ ಒನ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಡಬಲ್ ತ್ರೀ ಡಿಜಿಟ್ಸ್ ಕ್ರಾಸೇ ಆಗ್ತಿರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಮೈನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ಗೆ ಬರ್ತಿರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಈಗೆಲ್ಲ ಮೈನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ಗೆ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಈ ಮೈನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ ಬಂದಾಗಲೇ ನಿಮಗೆ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಯಲ್ಲಾಗಿ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಲಾಗಿ ನಿಮಗೂ ಕೂಡ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗೋದು ಆಮೇಲೆ ನಮಗೂ ಕೂಡ ಆಸಕ್ತಿ ಬರೋದು ನೀವು ಯಾರೂ ಓಟ್ ಹಾಕೋಕ್ಕೆ ಬರ್ತಿರಲಿಲ್ಲ ನಾನು ನಿಜಾನ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಕರೆಕ್ಟಾಗಿ ಹೇಳಿ ಒಂದು ಎಂಟತ್ತು ವರ್ಷಕ್ಕೆ ಮುಂಚೆ ಮೈನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ಗೆ ಬರ್ತಿರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಇವರು ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ನವರು ಇವ್ರು ಮೈನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ ಬರಬೇಕು ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ನವರು ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರು ಅಲ್ವಾ ಇನ್ ಫ್ಯೂಚರಲ್ಲಿ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸೇ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗೋದು ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ಸೈಟ್ಸು ಅವು ಸಿಗೋದು ಕಡಿಮೆ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿದ್ರು ಕೂಡ ಬೆಲೆನೂ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರಾಗಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸೇಫ್ಟಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಒಂದು ಮತ್ತು ಫೆಸಿಲಿಟೀಸು ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ವಿಶೇಷವಾಗಿ ಗೇಟೆಡ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೆ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಫೆಸಿಲಿಟೀಸು ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಗೇಟೆಡ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂದರೂ ಕೂಡ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಫೆಸಿಲಿಟೀಸು ಎಲ್ಲ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂಥೇಳಿ ಇತ್ತೀಚೆಗೆಲ್ಲ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಇಷ್ಟಪಟ್ಟು ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಇಶ್ಯೂಸು ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ಇದೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಹಿಂದೆ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಎಂಬತ್ತು ಎಂಬತ್ತೇಳು ವಾರ್ಡ್ ಇತ್ತು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಇನ್ನೂರ ಆಯಿತು ನೂರ ತೊಂಬತ್ತೆಂಟು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಸಿ ಎಮ್ ಸಿಗಳನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಸೇರಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡ್ವಿ ಆ ಸಿ ಎಮ್ ಸಿಗಳು ಏಳು ಸಿ ಎಮ್ ಸಿ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರು ಸುತ್ತಲೂ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಏಳು ಸಿ ಎಮ್ ಸಿ ಎರಡು ಟಿ ಎಮ್ ಸಿ ಕೆಂಗೇರಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯಲ್ಲಂಕ ಆಗ ನಾನು ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರು ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದೆ ಆಗ ವಾಟರ್ ಸಪ್ಲೈ ಸ್ಯಾನಿಟ್ರಿ ನಾನೇ ಸಿ ಸೈನ್ ಹಾಕಿದೆ ಸಮಸ್ಯೆ ಏಳ್ನೂರು ಕೋಟಿ ಆವಾಗ ಎಸ್ ಎಮ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಅವರು ಚೀಫ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದರು ಅಲ್ಲಿವರೆಗೂ ನೀರು ಇರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಏಳು ಸಿ ಎಮ್ ಸಿಗಳಿಗೂ ನೀರು ಇರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಎರಡು ಟಿ ಎಮ್ ಸಿಗೂ ನೀರು ಇರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಕಾವೇರಿ ವಾಟ್ರು ಮತ್ತು ಸ್ಯಾನಿಟ್ರಿ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಕೊಟ್ವಿ ಅದಾದ ಮೇಲೆ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟೆನ್ ವಿಲೇಜಸ್ಸು ಬಿಂದೆ ಬಿ ಜೆ ಪಿ ಸರ್ಕಾರ ಇದ್ದಾಗ ಅದನ್ನು ಸೇರಿಸಿದ್ರು ಆಮೇಲೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇದ್ದಾಗ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕುಡಿಯೋ ನೀರು ಸ್ಯಾನಿಟ್ರಿಗೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಸರ್ಕಾರ ಇದ್ದಾಗಲೇ ನಾವು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೊಟ್ವಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಬರೀ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬೇರೆಯವರು ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಲ್ಲ ಹೆಚ್ಚಾಗಿ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇತ್ತು ಮತ್ತು ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಹೊತ್ತು ನಾವು ಮಹದೇವ್ಪುರ ಕೂಡ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ವಿ ಆ ಭಾಗದಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಇದೆ ಅಂಥೇಳಿ ಮತ್ತು ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆಸ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ನಮಗೆ ಒಂದು ಸೆಲ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಪಾ ನಮ್ಮ ನಮ್ಮ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ರಾಜೀವ್ ಗೌಡ ರಾಜ್ಯಸಭಾ ಮೆಂಬರ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದರು ಅವರ ಅವರೇ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಚೇರ್ಮನ್ ಆಫ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆಸ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂತಲೇ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸು ವಾಸ ಮಾಡ್ತಿರೋರು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗಿದೆ ಮತ್ತು ಅವ್ರದ್ದು ಇಶ್ಯೂಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ನಾವು ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂಥೇಳಿ ಅವರು ನಮ್ಮ ಗಂಗಾಂಬಿಕೆ ಮೇಯರು ಒಂದು ಹತ್ತು ಜನದ ಒಂದು ಟೀಮ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಅವರು ಎಲ್ಲ ಒಂದು ಈಗಾಗಲೇ ಒಂದು ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತು ಮೂವತ್ತು ಮೀಟಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸಂಬಂಧಪಟ್ಟಾಗೇನೆ ಅವ್ರು ಏನೇನು ಇಶ್ಯೂ ಇದೆ ಅದೆಲ್ಲ ಕೂಡ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಹತ್ರ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕೂಡ ಮಾತಾಡಿ ಅದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಕೂಡ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸು ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಔಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅದನ್ನು ವಿಶೇಷವಾಗಿ ಆ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಏನೇನು ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಔಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಂತೇಳಿದರೆ ಈ ರೇರಾಗಿ ಸಂಬಂಧಪಟ್ಟಾಗೆ ಕಾನೂನಿಂದ ಏನಾದರೂ ತಿದ್ದುಪಡಿ ತರೋದಕ್ಕೆ ರೇರಾ ಒಂದು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಅದಾದ ಮೇಲೆ ಎಸ್ ಟಿ ಪೀಸು ಎಸ್ ಟಿ ಪಿ ಹಿಂದೆ ನಾನು ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರು ಆಗಿದ್ದೆ ಅದಾದ ಮೇಲೆ ಡೈ ಇನ್ಚ
ಮತ್ತು ಈ ಸರಳೀಕರಣ ಆಗಬೇಕು ಯಾವುದು ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾನ್ ಸ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ರಿಜಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಇದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಕೂಡ ನಮ್ಮ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ರಾಜೀವ್ ಗೌಡರ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷತೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವೊಂದು ಸೆಲ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ವಿಶೇಷವಾಗಿ ನಾವು ಈ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟಲ್ಲಿ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥವ್ರಿಗೆ ಸಹಾಯ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಮಾಡಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಉದ್ದೇಶ ಮತ್ತು ಈಗ ನಾವೆಲ್ಲ ಕೂಡ ಮಾತಾಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಈಗ ಅವ್ರ ಮಾತು ಕೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಫೈನಲ್ಲಾಗಿ ನೀವೇನು ಸಲಹೆ ಕೊಡ್ತೀರೋ ಅದನ್ನು ನಮ್ಮ ಪಕ್ಷ ಅಂತೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟು ನಾವು ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಓನರ್ಸು ನಾವು ಸಹಾಯ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಪಕ್ಷ ಸದಾ ಸಿದ್ಧ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ನಾನು ಈ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳೋಕ್ಕೆ ಇಷ್ಟಪಡ್ತೇನೆ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸರ್ ವಿ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಅ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಟು ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದೋಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಟುಡೇ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕೀ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ರಾಮಲಿಂಗ್ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಸರ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಹಾವ್ ಇಟ್ ಟಚ್ ದ ರಾ ನವ್ ವಿತ್ ಯು ಬಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೋಟರ್ ಟರ್ನ್ ಔಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಟ್ರೂ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಪತಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಡ್ವೆಲರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಟೈಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಆಲ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಅ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಔಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ವಿತ್ ಅವರ್ ಎಮ್ ಸೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅವರ್ ರೆಸಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎನ್ಶೋರ್ ದಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ವೋಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಐ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಮೂವ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ಅ ಕಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ಪೇನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ದ ಎಮ್ ಸೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹೋಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎಕ್ನಾಲೆಜ್ ದಟ್ ದಟ್ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ವೈಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಶಿಯಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಸಿಟಿಸನ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಇನ್ ದೇ ಡೂ ಅ ಲಾಟ್ ಮೋರ್ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅ ಸಸ್ಟೈನಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಪರ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಸೋಲಾರ್ ರೂಫ್ ಟಾಪ್ ರೈಟ್ ಏಟ್ ಟು ಟೆನ್ ಮೆಗಾ ವಾಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪವರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಇನ್ ಸೋಲಾರ್ ರೂಫ್ ಟಾಪ್ ಹಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಜನರೇಟೆಡ್ ಈವನ್ ದೋ ವಿತ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫೈಡ್ ಅಸ್ ಬಲ್ ಜನರೇಟರ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಎನ್ಶೋರ್ ಸೆಗ್ರಿಗೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಾಂಪೋಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಮೆನಿ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ ಡೂ ರೈನ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಹಾರ್ವೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಅ ಟ್ರೀಟೆಡ್ ವಾಟರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎಸ್ ಟಿ ಪೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ವೇ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಈವನ್ ಕ್ಲೇಮ್ ದಟ್ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಲೀಡ್ ದ ವೇ ಇನ್ ಸಸ್ಟೈನಬಿಲಿಟಿ but in spite of this this whole discrimination exists right we talked about it 5 years ago but that continues to remain bwssb rates we are considered in a different category uh, apartments pay a lot more than independent resident houses uh, sanitary charges are there even though we treating water in our own stps bescom rates are different stp cfo charges i think all of you will be able to it resonates with everybody going through this process of getting a cfo from kspcb uh, and of course the whole garbage cess as well so there are many many of these issues which have continued over the five years and we'd like to hear from the uh, representatives what they have to say about it because this is one thing that really affects everybody in this room so that's one is this whole discrimination bit and i also want vikram to elaborate on this whole the concerns and the harassment that uh, management committees face as well yeah i think uh, all of the distinguished uh, guests touched upon the need to work together right and come together acknowledging the issues but i think what will be good to know also is some concrete ideas on how to make that happen like uh, prithvi ji rightly said it should not be a debate but it should be about delivery right uh, it will be good to understand in fact uh, i just have uh, since uh, meera mentioned from last time around uh, i think we were very glad that last time after last time's debate uh, i think bjp had included a bunch of points in the manifesto as well right which was in the uh, direction of uh, uh, focusing on apartment dwellers sir said that this time an apartment cell has been created uh, i know that i think we have created those formats in fact the last time's manifesto said that apartment dwellers policies will be formed to ensure that there will be no discrimination in tariffs and charges for water power and solid waste management between domestic households and apartment residents and it also had a tag below which says flood proof bengaluru uh, i don't want to
how do we move towards commitments which are in some sense measurable outcomes right measurable deliverables i think that would be and that will subsume all the questions about harassment problems etc but some thoughts on how do you make it actionable right what will be for, for example if i were to say that if each of the parties were to come back to power tomorrow right if you come to power tomorrow what would be the action agenda which will give us that confidence that we know we will now move towards action just to add to it i think it's important that we all of us in this room and all of you and job we don't want to hear the same thing again after 5 years we'd like all of these issues to be solved in the next 5 years can i go first okay um the answer is with you vikram when someone doesn't deliver you know they're not delivering you vote them out and that's that's what we call democracy uh, but more importantly regarding uh, apartment uh, association i don't think you can number one you need to they are citizens they are voters they are tax payers and you need to treat them at the same level number one number two going beyond your um concerns about differential pricing i think there should be differential pricing please hear me out but you should incentivize those who are doing the right thing whereas it somehow seems to be that the policy seems to be more tilted towards charging more to the people who are doing the right things so i think i'll give you a very small example lot of people have not understand understood our policy on electricity uh 200 units are free after that you start paying from the first unit so what it's actually done is people for the first time which was not a very normal thing in indian culture when they leave a room they switch off the fan and the light so you are actually incentivizing rather than penalizing someone for using more um whether it's uh, water power uh, or sewage i think the apartments uh, have not just the collective wisdom but they seem to be more responsible in many of these aspects and i would say that you should look at and the aam aadmi party would seriously look at incentivizing rather than penalizing people who are doing wrong namma viyusu na velidivi iga avaru helidre naavu helidak saragutte ಇಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಡಾಕ್ಟ್ರೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಅಭಿಪ್ರಾಯ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಅವ್ರು ಕೇಳಿದಾಗ ನಾವು ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಹೇಳ್ಬೋದು ಓಕೆ ರೈಟ್ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ನಾನು ಅದನ್ನೇ ಹೇಳ್ತಿರೋದು vikram question was very clear where to engage how to engage see with regard to this aspect you need to engage with your elected representative basically all the issues whatever has been mentioned it's all related to policy okay engaging to leading to policy correction it is not engagement to engagement engagement to because all are under different different ministries so when it comes to bb bbmp it is more to do with the solid waste management when it comes to the bwssb it is related to the water and sewerage and when it comes to the bescom it is related to the power when it comes to the fire it is more related to the home department when it comes to the pollution control it is more related to environmental department so like this there are various and urban development planning registration revenue there are multiple departments so what we need to understand we need to scale up see the connect has to happen more and more connect has to happen you need to engage we need to tell where are the interventions to be done so far very for the very first time vikram probably you come out with that's what i mentioned in my very beginning of my remarks that first time you come out with lot of clarity what do you want and earlier it was more of a price difference or the price variation you have been talking about earlier even with regard to that price variation 
yes if we want it to be uniform yes we can take it up it's not a issue see ultimately people are paying for the cost it's not that you know somebody we give 200 units free who is going to pay for it is there somebody else coming from somewhere else it's no it's all a corporate bodies it's a self financing companies all the escom bescoms are all self financing body it's not somewhere some money will come if some category people have been paid it is the welfare fund of those particular community category it's been paid when it comes to the farming yes it has been paid for the particular department so wherever the cost is coming the cost is based on the generation and utilization whatever the cost comes the pricing is done basically on those aspects it's been done so where how to open up whether we can get more private sector now it is more government regulated can we get more private uh, 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 players to be part of you know uh, generation is one part now transmission or the distribution transmission tnd whether we need to get private players yes okay and this kind of aspects needs to be looked into it and it's all more related everything is related to policy sir we need to connect with each other we need to talk connect partner yes we are the partners we have been engaging we have been connecting and we have taken up many of the matters whenever whoever has come whenever you face problem with regard to the environment or the pollution control board yes we took straight away we never even wasted time the same moment we have taken up the matter wherever the issues have come up wherever whenever you have mentioned yes we have taken up we are connected right there that right that moment itself we address the concern it's not that we hold back we clearly understand this language what needs to be done how it needs to be taken we are very clear we are definitely committed to enable facilitate all the whatever is the concern of the apartment dwellers will definitely address will take it in a right spirit in a right direction it is not just only vote or vote bank it is much more than that this is the way forward we need to look at the future not only present in the future also we need to facilitate enable city is the best place to live that kind of living we need to address and facilitate and enable each and every person can live in peace so that without being having any burden much burden so whatever cost definitely all possible areas we clearly understand whatever you mentioned we clearly understand i have made it very clear with regard to the registration registration act there is no issue if you want further clarification we are willing to take it up with regard to the apartment owners act also 72 we are willing to take it up or the rules any other aspect living with regard to incentivizing encouraging facilitating engagements yes we'll take up we'll address we are not left anything in past madam whatever has been taken in the present only we'll keep taking and presently you know very well how what kind of challenges in the present government we had with regard to the covid yes we had an a very big engagement the covid took lot of our energy at the time and it was a very challenging time for each one of us we were able to manage and show how things can be managed and handled in a very better way efficiently vaccination all the drive in the last man in the society was also taken care very efficiently very forward looking and we have enabled the establishment all possible areas the healthcare every concern was taken very strongly with regard to this climate change also we could see year long rains it was a year long rains was a real challenging time definitely yes we need to understand and it was something which was not seen in the past 75 or 100 years even you can look into the records that was the real challenging time and with regard to the public transportation system we need to further scale up in much more bigger way the first mile the last mile every possible concern expanding the metro bmrcl and the suburban railway the bus transport system we need to understand the parking policy many aspects are there sir definitely yes uh, we are very serious and we need to if economy also has to expand if it has to become one trillion economy city plays a very important role city plays in a very important role and more so our bengaluru has become the number one in the entire country our city is leading from the front and it is uh, taking the lead in all possible areas wherever is the emerging areas city of bangalore has become the leader and uh, definitely we'll hold on to that not only just looking into for looking into the economy also the state is getting maximum revenue from the city of bangalore we need to definitely look into this concern and we'll work and facilitate 
with all commitment and sincerity. There's no second thought about it. We are, our party is completely engaged with all the uh, apartment dwellers and they were connected with many issues, many aspects, not only one subject. It is regard to many aspects, many subjects. We are completely connected with the apartment dwellers and it's a continuous engagement which has been happening and will continue to engage. Thank you. Actually, the question was very important. What is the solution? I feel the decentralization of uh, urban management is definitely needed. If we connect the dots between uh, communities and municipalities, we can really solve 80% of the problem. Every ward, this is what we are putting in our manifesto. And uh, we don't have any apartment uh, association president like uh, Congress and BJP. I, I would like to appoint myself and I will seek the permission from the... <laughs> I, would, I would engage with you guys directly. But I feel that every ward, if at all, we could come with a comprehensive five-year plan. The politicians keep changing. The plan shouldn't. The duty of the politician, any, any political party, they should come and they should implement that five-year vision plan which is given by the uh, ward committee. And uh, actually, we need to really also, uh, 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 yesterday night when I was discussing with my, my leader, I was, uh, because you know, we all know that ward committees, a big muscle man always comes and takes uh, the position of uh, the power. We need to really look out uh, four or five uh, qualities, no criminal background. He should be strong enough to understand, deliberate, and uh, decide what is definitely needed, expertise. If at all, we all join the dots, the communities to municipalities, ward committees, five-year comprehensive plan, then I'm sure we could really start seeing changes uh, in, in, in uh, respective wards. I, as uh, uh, Mr. Ramlingariti sir said, t told that if there is any question, we would definitely like to take this question. But I think all three political parties should be blamed that no comprehensive ward committees have really been formed yet. <laughs> comprehensive. I, I, sir, I know the sukta the word is you use madhe sir. Sukta vada sir. Actually, uh, political background is not Jagdal Kut Koltare, or Gotirato, Gotiralo, Gotilla, Water Bagay or Gotirala, Adron, Seatal Kutirthane, on the urban management Gotirala, Adru Seatal Kutirthane, Antadilla. Yar expertise is there, Yaru Nama Karnataka, Nama Bangalore, Munde Togodua, Goa, Vandu, Samarte, Antorna Kursbeko, Idu, Nana leader Jotan and Rathrian and discuss Madi Nimatran and Hedatarado. Nana Soyam Buddhina and Nehenu Hedatella. You heard that you have to say 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 apartment association and the JDS are illa, Yaradru Idre, Sukta or Idre, or Nemakamadi, Ilandre Nane, so I am Neka Marcondu, Nimjotan and Kelsa Martin and the head of the Namskara. One name Shalom. Iga Nima Grievances, Nima Idino Hedira. I am a law for a political party, Saga Malna, and my experience Mele. Nima issued Yenede, Naukuda, Chilkondi, Alva, Nana be pride the lay, new association or Ega, for example, Ega Rera the lay, Yen amendment Agbeco. Undi collection like the other party are the correct Borbodo, Alva, Yav party are the correct Bandru issues to Salva Becala, Ega Rera the lay, Yen amendment Agbeco, Alien Somersack Thai there, a water supply department to Alva, Alien Nim Yavriti and Kulagbeco, a STP so garbage. The registration, no, other it is tax, so Kata Marcodo, either Yauriti, Nimgadre, Ankula, and Tele, new Salhe Kotre. Now, any party in a political party is Congress, BJP, JDSU, Apu, now what the Na Mundika Yara the correct partner or Madadika and Kulagate. Alva actually, uh, Prithvi or get credit code by Kosni, our charter. Share Madaga or team Jota Redru, you take a simple like yes, no, Madak, Madi list court in Mianta. Right? So, yeah, I think, sir, Nivedo is correct. To. Background information and depth, to, uh, sir, Eldange, I think in the last five years, now Sulpa Nama understanding, wisdom, and I have to give, sir, credit to you. We have interacted a lot and understood a lot more what is the challenges 
in the system. So, Namma Abhipraya Galu, Namma inputs are not uh, uh, out of that. So, we have done enough research to make sure that what quickly we can do and what are the laws, rules, illa, other than now submit Marthewe and it is an opportunity to work as well. Thanks. Uh, uh, there, there are cards there, so if you want to add your questions, you can do that. And of course, in the late, uh, after this, we'll also have one round of interaction as well. Um, so, Sar Hedlaga, there are uh, a lot of things as citizens, as communities that we can do. We can give like much more concrete suggestions, like BAF has given a charter. There are solutions that are Im being implemented in apartments, which are like scalable, replicable, that gives a, a government an idea. So, policy changes have happened because of that as well. So, the solar rooftop is a great example. So I think that is, you know, in terms of setting direction, all of us have a big role. But there are two things that it is something that the government has to do, the people we elect have to do, which are two. And many of these issues that are the complaints that I'm seeing are like, you know, whether it's Taveri water or like, uh, you know, roads are horrible or I can't, you know, it's li literally a lot of it is related to livability, right? And the root cause is pretty much planning. Where is this city's master plan? We haven't had a master plan in a long time. Um, in, in fact, in the last 20 odd years, we have let the market provide housing for, you know, in the peripheral areas. Now, the, there is no green belt. It's flats and, uh, you know, uh, residences everywhere. But the infrastructure is following much later. So without that planning, we can't just allow people. I mean, people are coming. In my, there is livelihood issues. People will come and live and work. How do we plan for it is a question. and. All said and last time, Prithvi, you talked about making other cities more attractive for people to go live in. But that's not happening because unless, again, it's all related to planning. How do we do this? How much bigger can Bangalore grow? We can say, yes, vertical is the way to go. It is happening. But again, there are limits, right? We can't reach the space. So both horizontally and vertically, there are limits. How do we manage the city in a way that is, it is a livable place? So that's one key uh, issue that we have to request the government to act and we'd like to know what they would do. The second thing is about execution, like Tanvi sir said, BBMP election, he talked talk about what committees, but what about BBMP elections? We haven't had a council in like the last three years. So overall, we see a lot of, um, you know, in, uh, action that is required from the government in terms of ensuring there is decentralized power to the BBMP and local governance is very, very strong. So uh, this is something like, you know, I think from across parties, we see this reluctance to hand over power to BBMP. And we'd like to, because that is the first point of engagement with citizens. Uh, uh, so what can we expect and how would we, what are the, uh, what can you commit? What is that one thing you will do to ensure planning is done properly and this execution decentralization is done well? Uh, with regard to the BBMP election, the demand of the Bangalore was to have a new legislation. Yeah. Earlier, we were under the Karnataka Municipality Act, which they, we wanted to come out. We have a separate legislation for the Bengaluru. Probably in this direction, it was a long pending issue, which was taken up. So once the legislation was passed, so whether the election need to be conducted in the old act or a new act, that was a question which arise, leading to the litigation. So that led to the creation of more wards and the more le new legislation that led to the technical issues probably took its own time and along with this more so you know very well during that entire transition we were in the midst of the COVID and along with that parallelly handling all this issue it took a lot of time not that we don't want to uh, have election definitely in democratic system we need to have election we need to you know, allow and enable and allow the local bodies to take their own responsibility because there are many things to be done. Definitely, I agree. It's not that we are not interested to have election. Definitely, in a, a democratic system, all political parties, we start from cadet to top to bottom. It's not that it's exclusively for any top leaders to only hold on to something. It is from bottom to top, and we need to address the concern of the bottom level office bearers or the cadets. It's a complete team back to back. So, definitely, we are looking forward for the elections to be held and more so we had more judgments with regard to the reservation also when it comes to the Maharashtra and Madhya Pradesh they had a lot of uh, empirical data how and what basis are you providing reservations so that was also one of the more much more bigger issues how to go about the reservation also a big question arise 
and uh, what was the empirical data you have on what basis you created. So there were a lot of other issues which cropped up from different state and I think uh, even uh, Ramling Radiji and the others, uh, they know about all this matter. But from the outside, it looks that, you know, we are trying to avoid election, nothing like that. Nothing like that. We want to have elections and we want to go for elections, not that we are trying to avoid. And second, what was the other question? Planning, Planning yes. See, Bangalore, one thing, from the 2015 itself, we were supposed to have the new, uh, yeah, 2015, we were supposed to have the, uh, yes, sir. And we are supposed to have it by 2015 with regard to the new CDPR, the revised master plan. And Bangalore, you know, it was one uh, one parameter they just to have, they used to have the uh, city development plan. See, Bangalore, it's not just only BDA. Approved levels, it's not more than 25%, sir. In Bangalore, it is not more than 25%, it's approved level. 75% it is all revenue areas. So having the same ad stick for entire Bangalore telling not to have shops in 20 feet road or 30 feet road, the minimum width of the road, all this discrimination, micro planning, there are a lot of issues and which need to be handled in a, in a right way and we need to understand more better way but uh, that doesn't mean you can take more and more time but we should have done it and taken up very fast and having a right kind of consultant earlier, what was, uh, whatever was done, it was questioned by the uh, NGOs only, the civic activists only, to not to have that, you know, whatever the CDP earlier, CDP was not acceptable to most of them. So they wanted to get it again re revisited, the entire uh, development plan has to be revisited and come out with a new more format in a micro level, in the specifying each locality to have their own uh, uh, inputs and decisions, what needs to be done in the each of their locality, depending on their uh, livability, what needs to be done, taking people into confidence. Definitely, we need to work forward and uh, ensure the planning has to come and we need to take forward. There's no second option, madam. Now, in the future, the COVID has shown and uh, COVID, post COVID, it is totally different scenario. Uh, having the bigger cities to sustain also is a big challenge. We need to work, evolve. It is not an easy run. You know, whatever might happen, the city will keep growing, nothing like that. We need to understand there are challenges for bigger cities to sustain, to grow, to maintain and sustain the same growth. It is not so easy. We need to understand this. Definitely we know that. And smaller cities are going to have a better future now. Because with the way shown, you can work from anywhere, any place, anywhere. Now the things can be done. Now the digitalization and virtualization has led to many more better things can be done from anywhere. So all possible services, all the governance to education, healthcare, commerce, every possible things can be done from anywhere. And we are given priority for the telecom. We are the first state to come out within a telecom policy. We are the first place, first state to come out within a telecom policy to enable a single window clearance for all the internet service providers, broadband providers. So keeping that in mind, like now water, like it has become much more than water the internet services, the connectivity has become much more than that. We need to understand these aspects and we are enable, enabling, facilitating, facilitating all these things to happen, unlocking the entire potential uniformly, equitably, enabling and facilitating the entire uniform growth of the state and parallelly at the same time we are trying to address the concern of the city of Bangalore with regard to all the issues whatever has been mentioned in the today's charter. Definitely, most of them are reasonably good, 80%, sir. One is, if you are not able to look into the price variation, can you incentivize? Either of the way, you have put across, either this way or that way. Either recognizing the good practices, can you incentivize? Or can you consider the uniform pricing? Yes, definitely, I understand entire of your, uh, all the activities, all the issues related to all the departments, I can very clearly understand. Not to worry, we will enable facilitate all your concerns will be a very effectively addressed and taken up in the right spirit and will ensure all your concern will be dealt with all the acceptance and involving all of you and being the partners of all the apartment dwellers will be the partners and we can make it everything clear and we'll ensure this city will be the best city and uh, don't worry the 23 functioning will not be in the similar way the 23 will be the role model 
for anybody anywhere not only for our country it will be a role model for the entire world the best practices anybody can look up i can tell you with all the confidence the best practices what will be done taken up in the state of karnataka can be a model for everyone across the country and across the world yeah so <clears throat> i think we need to address the issue of the multiplicity of agencies that are involved in a city like bangalore and in the state as a whole um i don't think it's for a lack of solutions it's certainly a lack of intent which can be seen it's there for everyone to see we've i live in banaswadi we've live we've built a fabulous world class railway station but there's no way to reach there there are no, ro no roads to reach there we are asking apartment build, uh, builders to create helipads but we don't have a heli ambulance um our firefighting still remains flat if you see the equipment that they have they can't really go vertical uh, so i think there's certainly a lack of intent as far as the our commitment to ensuring that the growth uh, for bangalore to survive and for karnataka to survive um bang karnataka must go beyond bangalore and our commitment towards that we are actually going to have a developmental budget which is per citizen irrespective of where you live so you'll see that in our manifest thank you uh ಬಿಬಿಎಂಪಿ ಎಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದೀರ ಎಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಫಾರ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ರೀಸನ್ಸ್ ಅದು ಅಶೋಕ್ ನಾರಾಯಣರಿಗೂ ಗೊತ್ತು ನಮಗೂ ಗೊತ್ತು ಅದನ್ನೇನು ಡೀಟೇಲಾಗಿ ನಾನು ಹೇಳೋಕೆ ಹೋಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಮುಂದಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಗಿದೆ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಅದು ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರಿಗೆ ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಅದಾದಮೇಲೆ ರಿಸರ್ವೇಷನ್ಸು ಮತ್ತು ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ಗಳು ಎಲ್ಲ ಹೋಯಿತು ಉದಾಹರಣೆಗೆ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾಂತ್ ಅಂತೇನೆ ಒಂಬತ್ತಕ್ಕೆ ಎಂಟು ಲೇಡೀಸ್ ಮಾಡಿಬಿಟ್ಟಿದ್ರು ಅದರಿಂದ ಕೋರ್ಟು ಎಲ್ಲ ಹೋಗಿದ್ದರಿಂದ ತಡ ಆಗಿದೆ ಈಗ ನಾವಾಗಲಿ ಅವರಾಗಲಿ ಅಸೆಂಬ್ಲಿ ಎಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆದಮೇಲೆ ಮಾಡಲೇಬೇಕಾಗತ್ತೆ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಫ್ಯೂಚರಲ್ಲಿ ಈಗೆಲ್ಲ ಆಗಿದೆ ಈಗ ಅಮೆಂಡ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸು ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಆಗಿರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಮುಂದಕ್ಕೆ ಇನ್ ಫ್ಯೂಚರಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರತಿ ಐದು ವರ್ಷಕ್ಕೊಂದ್ಸಲ ಎಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸು ಮತ್ತು ಮುಂದಕ್ಕೆ ಹಾಕೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಆಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ನಾನು ಈ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳಿ ಮತ್ತು ಎರಡನೇದಾಗಿ ಈ ಸಿ ಡಿ ಪಿ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನಲ್ಲಿ ಆಗಬೇಕಾಗಿತ್ತು ಫಾರ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ರೀಸನ್ಸ್ ಅದೇನೋ ಮುಂದಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಗ್ತಾನೆ ಇದೆ ಮತ್ತು ಸಿ ಡಿ ಪಿ ಮಾಡೋದು ಒಂದು ಸಿ ಡಿ ಪಿ ಆದಮೇಲೆ ಈಗ ಬರೀ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರು ಅಂತರೆ ಬಿ ಬಿ ಎಮ್ ಪಿ ಲಿಮಿಟ್ಸು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಬಿ ಡಿ ಎ ಲಿಮಿಟ್ಸು ಅದಾದಮೇಲೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಬಿ ಎಮ್ ಐ ಡಿ ಎ ಬಂದುಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಈ ಆನೆಕಲ್ಲು ನೆಲಮಂಗ್ಲ ಹೊಸಕೋಟೆ ಎಲ್ಲದಕ್ಕೂ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಥಾರಿಟೀಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಫೆಸಿಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಕೊಡೋದು ಭಾಳ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟು ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಈಗ ಹೈದರಾಬಾದು ಇವರು ಚಂದ್ರಬಾಬು ನಾಯ್ಡು ರೋಡ್ ವೈಡ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಹೈದರಾಬಾದಲ್ಲಿ ಸರ್ಕಾರಗಳು ಚೇಂಜ್ ಆಯಿತು ರೋಡ್ ವೈಡ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಇವತ್ತು ನಿಂತಿಲ್ಲ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡಿಂಗ್ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಹೈದರಾಬಾದ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ರೋಡ್ಸು ಇನ್ನು ಐವತ್ತು ವರ್ಷ ಆದರೂ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಟ್ರಾಫಿಕ್ ಜಾಮ್ ಆಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಫಸ್ಟು ಪ್ರಿಯಾರಿಟಿನಲ್ಲಿ ರೋಡ್ ವೈಡ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಆಗಬೇಕು ಅಟ್ಲಿ ಹಳೆ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರು ಬೇಡ ಅಟ್ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಹೊಸ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರು ಆದರೂ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಲ್ಲ ನಾವು ರೋಡ್ ವೈಡ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಮತ್ತು ಕುಡಿಯೋ ನೀರು ಕೊಡಬೇಕು ಈಗ ಕುಡಿಯೋ ನೀರು ಕೊಡಬೇಕು ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಕೊಡಬೇಕು ಹಳ್ಳಿಗಳಿಗೂ ಕೊಡಬೇಕು ಹಳ್ಳಿಗಳೇನು ಉಳಿದಿಲ್ಲ ಈಗ ಈಗ ನೀವು ಚಂದಾಪುರದವರೆಗೂ ಹೋಗಿ ಹತ್ತಿ ಬೆಲೆವರೆಗೂ ಹೋಗಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಲೇಔಟ್ಸ್ ಬಂದುಬಿಟ್ಟಿದೆ ಕನಕಪುರ ರೋಡು ಕಗ್ಲಿಪುರ ದಾಟಿ ಹೋಗಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿವರೆಗೂ ಬಂದುಬಿಟ್ಟಿದೆ ಮಾಗಡಿ ರೋಡು ಈ ಹತ್ತು ಹನ್ನೊಂದು ರೋಡ್ ಬರುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಹೊಸಕೋಟೆ ಕನಕ ಎಲ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ರಸ್ತೆಗಳು ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಮಡ್ರಾಸ್ ರೋಡು ಮತ್ತು ಈ ಕಡೆ ಅನಂತಪುರ ರೋಡು ಮಾಗಡಿ ರೋಡು ನೀವು ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೈದು ಮೂವತ್ತು ನೀವು ಹೆಲಿಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಟರಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಗ್ಬೇಕು ನಾವು ಬೆಂಗ್ಳೂರು ನೋಡಬೇಕು ಅಂದರೆ ಹೆಲಿಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಟರಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋದರೆ ಬೆಂಗ್ಳೂರು ಎಷ್ಟು ಬೆಳೆದಿದೆ ಅಂತ ನಮಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆಲ್ಲ ನೀರು ಕೊಡಬೇಕು ಸ್ಯಾನಿಟ್ರಿ ಕೊಡಬೇಕು ಎಸ್ ಟಿ ಪೀಸ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಪವರ್ ಕೊಡಬೇಕು ಮತ್ತು ಗ್ರೀನರಿ ಬೆಳಿಬೇಕು ಪ್ಲಸ್ ರೈನ್ ಹಾರ್ವೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಕೆ
ಅದು ಬೇಗ ನಮಗೆ ಇನ್ ಫ್ಯೂಚರಲ್ಲಿ ನಮಗೆ ಸಮಸ್ಯೆಗಳು ಇರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಅದೊಂದು ಪ್ರಿಯಾರಿಟಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವುದೇ ಪಕ್ಷ ಅಧಿಕಾರಕ್ಕೆ ಬಂದರೂ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ನಾನು ಈ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಇಚ್ಛೆಪಡ್ತೇನೆ thank you sir i think road widening compensation that's another like huge topic in itself but i just want to mention like uh, what prithvi talked about the coordination between agencies because this is a lot of uh, you know the questions coming from the audience is also about that lack of coordination between the various government agencies you know whether it is related to digging or kaveri water or any of these that coordination seems to be a huge issue there is babu from whitefield um valli from uh, bhuvna green so a lot of people are talking about how do you get them together because there is a metropolitan planning committee which i don't know when it last met uh, why is this like if we keep talking about it everybody knows that uh, you know one department doesn't know what the other one does for example um, in my own personal experience on there was a flyover planned by the corporation whereas uh, the metro team didn't know about it and their metro line was actually going over was supposed to be constructed on that line same line so how do you actually fix this coordination we have structurally there is a planning committee that's supposed to meet and be in sync but in execution this seems to be a huge issue uh, would you like to comment on that sir with regard to this kind of issues to bring coordination between the various agencies there is a committee under the chief secretary to coordinate with various agency under the chairmanship of the chief secretary a lot of coordination happens along with this we have come out with a new act bangalore metropolitan land transport authority now the mobility plan whichever agency let it be bmrcl let it be railways let it be bmtc all possible agencies bbmp bda all agencies need to coordinate now they work under one body so unless without the approval of the bmlt no other projects no projects can be taken up now all the projects has to pass through the bmlt and the coordination has been taken up along with this the most important even getting into more micro level the road history probably to bring coordination we need to take up road history road history can lead to can address even the minutest even a hinge of a land whatever small work has been done you can capture everything and bring lot of coordination bring lot of efficiency lot of concern whatever concern between the multiple agency all of them can come under one platform one platform one portal and bring in the coordination very efficiently without leading to any confusion even the micro smallest issue can be addressed very efficiently road history is a way forward probably it's ready we need to take it forward so that is the most important solution that can address all this kind of concern with various agencies and each agency works separately now we're trying to look into all this aspect bmlta and the chairmanship under the chief secretary also a lot of coordination meeting happens and final solution is the road history so definitely we need to work and implement the road history system in spirit in totality that can address all the concern thank you thank you sir uh, i we just have some questions from the cluster leaders maybe we can go ahead uh, with that yeah i think uh, thank you uh, interaction also no we'll do that sir i think what we will do i think with your permission sir we have few representatives mostly of our cluster leadership whom we have requested to yes sir <laughs> right and we have collected all the questions so my request to both the audience and over here today obviously the scope of this event has a certain limitation the idea was also to come together with all the major political parties and discuss high level issues like i mentioned in the beginning of this uh, event we will now conduct more specific assembly constituency level meetups also uh, my humble request to all our members our member leadership is please take the lead in organizing a date uh, when you can organize for your all the parties and i should thank them i should congratulate them have equivocally committed that they will be sending candidates or representatives to participate in those local level you know? right <clears throat> i think i think we should give a bigger round of applause
Hitler. Good afternoon. My name is Satish Varan. I represent uh, Pinia and Kingeri officially. But I'm going to talk about gale gas, which is pending for the past six years, in respect of apartments which are in uh, Pinia, Jalahalli, Dasarahalli, and Yashantpur, Matikere, and some parts of uh, you know, uh, Malaysia also. Most of the apartments, almost about 15 to 20 apartments, having about three to 4,000 uh, apartments, have applied for gale gas. Their connectivities has been done, piping has been done, metering has been done, deposits have been paid. Gale gas has been given permission by the Karnataka government in 2017 for laying pipes for the gas. The pipes were laid, almost 80% of the pipes were laid. Balance 20% of the pipes could not be laid because the lower level authorities of BBMP put a stop work order somewhere in 2018. The then Chief Secretary in December 2018 called for a meeting and issued an order saying that no stop work of gale gas will be permitted. The then BBMP Commissioner in March 2019 issued a written order saying that no work order shall be stopped for gale gas piping. Despite that, the gale gas piping has not been permitted by the local BBMP authorities for the past three to five years. Several apartments are written to the PMO's office. The PMO's office has responded. There is one or two apartments who are part of the defense, uh, uh, th the defense ministry has been involved in it. They were not able to do it. So somewhere there is a lack of will and lack of uh, you know, you know, implementation by the BB authorities at the lower level. One issue which I wanted to share is it's not that. There is a will, there is a way. One apartment which is not a member of Bangalore Apartment Federation is a new apartment in Yashwantpur had their gas, gale gas connected within one month. Why? Because a judge of the Karnataka is an owner there and she intervened and got the connections done. That means where there is a will, there is a way, but it's not happening for all of us despite raising at various levels. We want your support on this issue, sir. I'll stand there a minute. Achutra or the Begurinda, yeah, please if you can handle. Now, summarize your points. So, I think there are some things which have been addressed. Undu Yeradu there, other now we can summarize and take. Achutra or a please. Yeah. Uh, no He's from our Begur cluster. From Begur uh, cluster. Elargo uh, Namaskara, sir. Nevin Namuha. Bandira, number solutions, sir. Kodoke. Nanu Chikoni Daga, Ile Utu Vildirene. Avaga Bangalore, no, Yoga Bangalore, no. Tumba Vetia Saide. Nanu. Uliwaga greenery Vinuti Martini. You know the frequent power cuts are tied. Ella Kadeno. Adrinda Namke Tumba Tondre are tied. So Adu Yen Martaran and Gotila Martiro. Adunu correction of Bekunu. You know the roads, sir, Namke Nadia Kagorilla, Voda Kagorilla. It is overall Bengal will get there. Nibuno other buckets of. So, green Thank you. Thank you, thank you, uh, Ramesh sir from uh, Banshankari cluster. One final input. We will summarize the question. Morning. It was a great pleasure to hear all of you mention and even discuss that we are getting compared to London, etc. One issue which we have to think about is our recycling rate for water is much lower. As of now, we are not anywhere near the landmarks which are worldwide established by places like Israel and Singapore. And it is not the quantum of money which is needed, but we are supporting those programs because the research and the software engineering piping networks are being done in India. Why is it that we are not setting up those kind of landmarks and trying to create a situation wherein water which is consumed in Bangalore would flow down to the farmers and would be used 
if 50% of our water is rainfall water, at least in your individual constituency when you stand, can you please see that in the next five years, there is no mixing of sewage water and rainwater. The Rajas have gone away. We are still stuck with the Raja Kalve. <laughs> How much longer are we going to wait? Because the Privy Purse has been abolished. We seem to fight on occupancy over that. And please note by putting concrete on top of these drains which are there, what's happened is you have created concrete pipes through which water rushes down, causing flooding. Please think about this and have a concrete investment. Don't force individual apartments to invest in STP. It is better to have common facilities like Israel, etc., wherein you can put the best of technology and do a concrete development sir, of water recycling. We are still at the surface of the road. It's below the road we have to think, sir. Thank you, Ramesh, sir. One quick summary I'll, I'll do, sir. Some of the issues were already spoken about. Umesh sir, KSRA, KAO, comprehensive discussion. I have note published. All the parties over here have committed now through this morning also that that issue will be taken up. Right? So we need to move forward on that. We can't keep. There is an issue. I would like to also mention, I think somebody brought in builder challenges, etc. We have Bhaskar Nagendra, president of Kredai Bengaluru over here. I think I should give him a, a, a thank you. For the first time, <coughs> They have committed that, you know, we will work together with BAF to look at bringing clarity, knowledge and wisdom among the builder community also and address grievances. So we are working together. It was a big challenge and decision for us to take because we will be accused of saying that, you know, you are working with builders. But that's not the approach to take, sir. At the end of the day, we have to work with everybody. Thanks to Bhaskar and team. We have started working. We have started exchanging information, challenges, problems. Hopefully that will also translate into awareness and uh, wisdom to all the builders basically in terms of what constitutes legality and what should be correctly done. It is very intricately connected to this KAOA, KSRO problem as well. One the question, sir, this Kata issue keeps coming up again and again. B Kata versus A Kata. Right? Adun B Kata on these two properties ke issue but a lot of our members also today are in the category of being in the uh, B Kata because of like one of them said they have bought the apartment in good faith, but there are deviations, challenges, which they are not. Many questions are on that. Uh, while at the same time, I think the problem of the property having illegalities and deviations is there. Right? Now, that's a tricky situation. Right? How do you... Um, is there a thought process in which where um, honest buyers, home buyers are not uh, put to uh, uh, problem? But at the same time, we can work out a mechanism where their conditions are addressed as well. Because at the end of the day, they have put in their hard-earned money in buying a piece of property. That is one point. Second point which came up very critically everywhere, we hear that from multiple uh, clusters today, is the supply of pipe gas. I think the infrastructure over there has now evolved in the last few years. I've seen, we have had interactions with Gale officials, etc. A lot of uh, uh, background infrastructure has been built. But there are a lot of local challenges, right, when BBMP is involved, etc., to bring the f last mile connectivity to the residents themselves. A pipe gas, I think, is a good uh, modern facility which can extend uh, safer and better, etc. So these two issues, Khata, B Khata and, and, and Gale gas issue, e any thoughts on this, how we can move forward? Uh, just to add to it, there are quite a few questions about Kaveri connection as well. We talked about the unfair rates of water, but there's also this whole issue of getting connection because apartments have to pay whatever, for 1 lakh and above to get these connections because of these beneficiary uh, contribution, etc. Because the rates are pretty high, right? 400 per square feet. But many of them are complaining that there's no guarantee of water. It barely comes maybe once a week. So given the, you know, that it, you, it's not an assured supply, Apartments are also not going in for the connections. So there is this, uh, I think, uh, issue there which has to be addressed. We can't keep waiting for Kaveri Water Phase 5 will come, but still other things also have to be done in conjunction. Yeah, with regard to the associations, where they need to register. Probably if they want more clarity, we'll look into it. Definitely, where should be the the right agency which is going to look into the registration of the organization. Definitely, we'll look into that concern. With regard to the second point, 
regulatory bodies who is going to look into all this thing see the now in the charter demand also they made it very clear the convenience convenience of the property should not happen without a oc that's a very uh, a good suggestion where it can stop you know exploiting the innocent people whether ignorance of law is not an excuse sir you know what all factors get into you get into all educated people more they don't look into this statutory requirement also that's also one mistake so cheaper are getting tempted getting exploited by some people okay that's all one part but any anyway, orera is going to look into all this aspect will insist and ensure that nobody should lead by any of the builders so any of the builders should not take advantage without any oc conveyance of the any property should not happen definitely will insist and ensure that in future without oc no sale should happen that kind of restriction ki we can get through the rera and with regard to the gale with regard to the gale the agency started way long way back very long probably started more than 10 years back there the gale company is having a vision and a mission to implement the the piping system the piped gas supply system but when it comes to the implementation by the various agencies who have taken the contract somewhere my understanding they failed they were trying to you know not have as right kind of people who went for the implementation when it comes to the implementation for example in my own constituency we had permitted them 7 years back yolo varshadinda ne pettido sir yolo varshadinda permission kotrunu how service connection main line connections will uh, execute madru how service can when it comes to the how service connection they took their own time and all the time we can't have as rightly said the coordination we can't allow the road to be dug all the time keep digging 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 all almost we had lot of things on our head so having a right rebuilding of the utility water pipelines the sanitation ofc bescom lines see bescom line also power supply what our good friend was mentioning see entire bangalore now as far as possible we need we have brought now new packages got the underground cable uh, you know executed uh, the underground cabling has been done so that whenever there is a rain there will be disruption in the power supply we are not short of power we are surplus state sir in the power generation we are a surplus state only thing it comes to the trans trans transmission and distribution the quality and the network is very important probably we need to establish the quality uh, power supply the quality in the supply is very important probably in that direction putting up of the underground cable also is very important the ofc cable also is very important and water line sanitary line gas line gail the coordination they took their own time probably they didn't execute in the time what time place they were permitted they didn't do it and they took their own time that led to more and more problem during this election now they ask now permission do you think can you allow now you think you know nobody will talk where what has been done they immediately what money has been spent and all these challenges will be there definitely we we'll look at and we are for it see it's a government government uh, vision and a mission to ensure the gas uh, the pipeline uh, gas pipelines are are should be the way and mode of you know supplying the gas uh, consumer gas whatever needs to be provided so we are for it but only the timeline is taking lot of issues the when it comes to the implementation we have faced lot of challenges and with regard to the water management yes sir definitely we we'll look into all this aspect and we are uh, taken up the water management in a very big way the kaveri fifth stage madam was mentioning up the guaranteed water supply so far we have 1400 mld water supply up to the kaveri fourth stage we have 1400 mld supplied to the city of bangalore we are going to additionally add 750 mld which will be good enough until 2032 until 2032 we will have surplus water which is going to cater from weekly supply it will come to come into two days once the supply will be established it's a matter of time one or two months i think you should have got completed by now by now it should have got completed matter of two three months it's in the final stages 750 mld water will be drawn by the kaveri fifth stage all the entire piping work distribution network feeder line distribution trunk all possible aspects has been looked into it the glrs have been constructed and we'll have sufficient water for the city of bangalore and we can ensure there's a supply that is the only sustenance way definitely each and every house in the city of bangalore will get water and we are providing water to each and every house in the state of karnataka 
and more so in this direction the city of bangalore also will get water we have dealt in the many places across the state under the jal jeevan mission as a river source river, water has been provided to each and every one similarly for bengaluru up to 2032 we should not have any issue with regard to the requirement of water whatever is the requirement of water of the city will be complied by adding 750 ml in the kaveri fifth stage so with regard to all the aspects of that and uh, with regard to the recycling sir now 1200 ml recycling is happening and uh, only secondary level is happening now we are uh, trying to take it to the tertiary level and further whatever more water is being supplied and taken up we are trying to address the recycling will be taken up in a very big way there are some places disconnected networks are there we are trying to connect those disconnected networks also and uh, many of the public spaces sir we are trying to have the recharging pits uh, wells recharge wells also has been built so that the water flow can be arrested and recharge whatever the underground water can be recharged and ensure the the water doesn't flow into the storm water drain the storm water drain carrying capacity is not that much so there are challenges definitely all this aspect not our city everywhere you don't have ducting system sir except for few hundred kilometers rest remaining everything passes through the roads all the utility passes through the road it is not you know dedicated space for all these utilities to pass through so we do have lot of challenges it is not a ideal situation we have challenges definitely we need to bear and in future the fair pages the tender sure or the white topping concept the reason of bringing them was to ensure there is a ducting system to pass through all the utilities probably in that direction we need to work and many more things there are so much of topics sir i think probably we can discuss for many days to talk about this subject in few hours it is very difficult i do we do understand the challenges not that we don't understand we have been working in this direction we are trying to address the self sufficiency of the city with regard to the water supply or with regard to the discharges or with regard to the power all these aspects have been taken into consideration and will ensure all the utility services will be given topmost priority thank you thank you sir thank you ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ ಸೈಟ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲೂ ಈ ಸಮಸ್ಯೆ ಇದೆ ಏಕಾತ ಬಿಕಾತ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲೂ ಇದೆ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮೋರ್ ದನ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ರಿಪೀಟೆಡ್ ಬಿಲ್ಡರ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ಟರೆ ಉಳಿದಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥವ್ರು ಯಾರೂ ಕೂಡ ಓಸಿ ತಗೊಂಡಿಲ್ಲ ಓಸಿ ತಗೊಂಡಿಲ್ಲ ಬಹಳಷ್ಟು ಜನ ಓಸಿ ತಗೊಂಡಿಲ್ಲ ಯಾರು ರೆಪ್ಯೂಟೆಡ್ ಬಿಲ್ಡರ್ಸ್ ಮಾತ್ರ ಓಸಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಇದು ಯಾವುದು ಸಮಸ್ಯೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಹಿಂದೆ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಕಟ್ಬಿಟ್ಟಿದ್ರು ಅವ್ರಿಗೂ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿರಲ್ಲ ಖಾತ ಆಗಿರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಆಗೇನಾಯಿತು ಬಿ ಬಿ ಎಂ ಪಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಡಿಶನ್ ತಗೊಂಡು ಅವರಿಗೆ ಬಿ ಖಾತ ಕೊಟ್ಟರು ಬಿ ಖಾತ ಕೊಟ್ಟರು ಈ ಓಸಿ ಇಲ್ಲದೇ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಬಿ ಖಾತ ಕೊಟ್ಟರು ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ವಾಟರ್ ಸಪ್ಲೈ ಬೇಕಾಗಿತ್ತು ಸ್ಯಾನಿಟ್ರಿ ಬೇಕಾಗಿತ್ತು ಮತ್ತು ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಕಟ್ ಬಿ ಬಿ ಎಂ ಪಿಗೆ ಔಟ್ ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ಫೆಸಿಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಉಪಯೋಗಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದರು ಅದರಿಂದ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಆದರೂ ಬರಲಿ ಅಂತ ಹಿಂದೆ ಆ ರೀತಿ ಡಿಶನ್ ತೊಗೊಂಡ್ರು ಈಗ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಡಿಶನ್ ತೊಗೊಂಡಿದೆ ಬಿ ಖಾತನ ಎ ಖಾತ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂತ ಇದು ಇಶ್ಯೂಸು ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಆಗ್ಬೋದು ಮತ್ತು ಇವರು ಒಬ್ಬರು ಹೇಳಿದಾಗೆ ಸಬ್ ರಿಜಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಆಫೀಸಲ್ಲಿ ಅದು ವಿತೌಟ್ ಓಸಿ ರಿಜಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆಗ ಮಾಡಬಾರ್ದು ಅಂತ ಅದು ಇನ್ ಫ್ಯೂಚರಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಹಿಂದೆ ಆಗಿದ್ದು ಆಗೋಗಿದೆ ಇನ್ ಫ್ಯೂಚರಲ್ಲಿ ಅದೊಂದು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಮತ್ತು ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರಲ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ನೊಬ್ಬರು ಸೀನಿಯರ್ ನಮ್ಮ ನೀರಿನ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಮಾತಾಡಿದ್ರು ಈಗ ನಾವು ರೈನ್ ಹಾರ್ವೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗು ಇದೆ ಆದರೆ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಲಾಗಿ ಇದೆ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಈಗ ಬಿ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಎಸ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ರೂಲ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ತ್ಲು ಫಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಿನಿಮಮ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಬೌವ್ ಇರೋರೆಲ್ಲ ರೈನ್ ಹಾರ್ವೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಅದರ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಅದು ಆಗ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಕಾನೂನು ಇದೆ ಇಂಪ್ಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಗ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಅದನ್ನು ನಾವು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಆಗೇನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ರೈನ್ ವಾಟರು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ಬೀಳುತ್ತೋ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತರ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಭೂಮಿ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಹೋದರೂ ಸಾಕು ನಮಗೆ ವಾಟರ್ ಟೇಬಲ್ ಆಟೋಮೆಟಿಕ್ ಮೇಲಕ್ಕೆ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಈಗ ಅದನ್ನು ಚೆನ್ನೈಯಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಚೆನ್ನೈಯಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಡಿದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ರೈನ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಆಟೋಮೆಟಿಕ್ ರೈಸ್ ಆಗೋಯ್ತು ಚೆನ್ನೈಯಲ್ಲಿ ಇಲ್ಲೂ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರಲ್ಲಿ ಅದನ್ನು ಕಡ್ಡಾಯವಾಗಿ ನಾವು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಬರೀ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಅಂದರೆ ಇಷ್ಟೇ ಅಲ್ಲ ಈಗ ನೀವು ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಸರ್ಜಾಪುರ ರೋಡ್ ಹೋಗಿ ನಮ್ಮ ತಮಿಳ್ನಾಡು ಪಾಡುವರೆಗೂ ಬೆಳೆದುಬಿಟ್ಟಿದೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಆನ ಇದು ಹತ್ತಿಬೆಲೆ ರೋಡು ಹತ್ತಿಬೆಲೆವರೆಗೂ ಲೇಔಟ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಮತ್ತು ಕನಕಪುರ ರೋಡು ಬನರಟ್ ರೋಡು ಮಾಗಡಿ ರೋಡು
ಫ್ಯೂಚರಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವುದೇ ಸರ್ಕಾರ ಬಂದರೂ ಕೂಡ ಫ್ಯೂಚರಲ್ಲಿ ಅದನ್ನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಮಾತ್ರ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಟೇಬಲ್ ರೈಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ನೀರಿನ ಸಮಸ್ಯೆನೂ ಕೂಡ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಅವ್ರು ಇಬ್ಬರೇ ಅನಿಸುತ್ತೆ ಬೇರೆ ಏನಾದರೂ ಸರ್ ಎಲ್ರಿಗೂ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ to everybody but uh, especially especially to dr ashwath and you just mentioned about the intellectual level of the bias now my simple question is yes we have intellectual section who are bias but could you just tell us what action you would be taking on the builders and the bbmp officials for deviations sir one day one nimsha can i previous prashne ge nan gun i just wanted to ನೀವು ಕೇಳಿರೋ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ತುಂಬ ರೆಲೆವೆಂಟ್ ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ಯಾರಾದರೂ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಮನೆ ಕಟ್ಟಿದರೆ ಒಂದು ಇಟ್ಗೆ ಇಡಕ್ಕೆ ಮುಂಚೆ ಕಾರ್ಪೊರೇಟರ್ ಅಥವಾ ಅವರ ಪುಡಾರಿಗಳು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದು ನಿಂತ್ಕೊತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಈ ಡಿವಿಯೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಏನಾಗಿದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿಗ್ಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಏನಾಗಿದೆ ಅದು ತಿಳಿದೇ ಆಗಿಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದೆ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ಪೊಲಿಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಕನ್ಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ ದಟ್ ಅಟ್ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಮುಂದೆ ಹೋಗಿ ಇನ್ನು ಮುಂದೆ ಅದನ್ನು ನಿಲ್ಲಿಸ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂತ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಅನ್ಲೆಸ್ ಯು ಹೋಲ್ಡ್ ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಅದನ್ನು ನೋಡ್ಕೊಳ ಕೆಲಸ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರೋರ ಮೇಲೆ ನೀವು ಯಾವುದು ಕ್ರಮ ತಗೊಂಡೇ ಇದ್ದರೆ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಆಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಹ್ಯೂಮ್ಯಾನಿಟೇರಿಯನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಟು ಇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಎವರ್ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸಿಟಿಸನ್ಸ್ ಇ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಕಮಿಟೆಡ್ ದ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ ನೀರಿನ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಐ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ವೆರಿ ವಿಶ್ಫುಲ್ ಇಫ್ ವಿ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಕಾವೇರಿ ನೀರ್ ಈಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ನಾವು ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಕೆರೆಗಳನ್ನ ರೀಜನುವೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಬೀಳುತ್ತಿರೋ ಮಳೆ ನೀರು ಕಳೆದ ವರ್ಷ ಅದು ಒಂದು ಶಾಪ ಥರ ಆಗಿತ್ತು ಇಫ್ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ ದಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಸಿಟಿ with regard to the whichever building illegally constructed building whichever has violated the building norms even the court is seized with this matter it's been going on the notice have been issued to each and every building if you'll be surprised whichever building which has been constructed to violating the norms almost all the buildings the notice have been issued and uh, along with that to deter the people from getting into these things there was a double collection of the power bill double collection of the water bill to ensure that you know this kind of uh, uh, enablement should not be there to buy this kind of property discouraging this kind of property let it be in individual level let it be in apartment level okay that is one part the other part you have got a forum to go to the consumer court or you can file complaint cheating cases you can file nobody is filing so if you file about the if you have been cheated by your owner you have if you are by builder why don't you file the case see law has been created not only here the rera is there the consumer court is there the police every possible forums are there for you to take action but only thing is you should go forward to file the complaint take them at dawn show them their place whatever illegality done by any person should not be allowed definitely we need to discourage we are here to take action against them there is no question of allowing see all these things is a very challenging it's not an ideal situation where you know ideally everybody thoughts are aligned with you know ethics norms and uh, all the morality see we need as an a society we need to evolve work towards in this direction to make a ideal society where we all of us become a law abiding citizen law abiding is something by the society we need to adapt to it to make a, our society our place a better place to live that's the only solution for each one of us to be a law abiding citizen that is the way forward definitely as a system when as and when there are challenges we are coming out with this kind of solution to address the concern of the people so there are forums you want to take you file why the action will not be taken let it be even the engineers let it be anybody whoever that's the reason they don't give the oc see once the building is built they don't get the oc whoever is violated they can't get it so that is the norm is in place so people tend to sell and do all this kind of thing definitely 
will work and will i can't you know uh, talk entirely entire solution in this one place i can't address all your uh, many challenges whatever you face definitely government is aligned in this direction to address all the concern in very systematic manner namaskara uh, thank you i just had this one point we could not we don't have time to discuss but environment is a huge issue that all of us are going to be affected by we saw the flooding last year we uh, air pollution has gone back to pre covid levels uh all the budgets recently have been all about infrastructure 9000 crores 6000 crores here there flyovers and really uh, you know from a mobility perspective there's still uh, a big big gap bmtc in fact the schedules have gone down for example so this is something that needs to be addressed i don't we may not have time to get into this uh, so much but i would like to ask all the representatives here what is that one thing that they will guarantee will get into the manifesto in the for the coming election based on what you heard here one very specific thing not general things like we want bangalore clean green etc mira you know you are very aware of it bangalore is a city when it comes to the sustainability we are the leaders we are working in that direction let it be in mobility let it be in all possible area you name the sector the sustainability has become the way forward net zero emission is our mission and vision by 2047 the entire country we want to become net zero emission probably in that direction the renewable energy the mobility all possible from the green fuel to the green system entire sustainability system has been built i can talk to you that in that aspect in a perfect manner now i can make one statement the state of karnataka will be the leader when it comes to the sustainability in, let it be in all possible sector you name the sector will be the sustainable people i can guarantee you which is a matter of time you name the sectors the state of karnataka will be the sustainable leader and come out with a solution the green solution or the net zero emission we will be the first people to achieve thank you will be net zero in the next 5 years 2000 5 Uh, that is india's uh, target is uh, 47 yeah. but we'll be leading in the next 5 years the mission has been taken up see the things are working see if you are you aware or not i don't know if you look at the entire fueling system the green fuel from the ethanol the green hydrogen or the batteries the powered the fuels alternative fuels everything has been worked out and already it has been implemented it is working so along with this the virtualization and digitalization also is leading to minimal a mobility of the people let it be in all possible services let it be governance let it be medical let it be education all possible sector the solutions have been worked out and we want people to live in their respective places unless they want to move around go and meet some particular person probably in this direction the way the place of working or the system of working everything is changing and it is happening the power generation almost 60% of the power generation is already happening through the renewable energy and more so i can tell you later and even whatever the products development is happening in all possible sectors the really the sustainability is been kept in mind and we are the things are happening even in all possible let it be from water to all possible the regeneration waste management circular economy all the circular economy in all possible there is nothing way like waste all the waste has been properly channelized and we are the leaders in entrepreneurship we are the leaders in startup we are the leaders in innovation we are the leaders in engineering we are the leaders in technology we are everything so definitely <laughs> i am confident about my people and my state is going to be the solution provider and we believe in sustainability that is the solution people many of the people talk in different languages but we are working in that direction ಎಲ್ಲ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಯವರು ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟೋ ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟೋ ವಿ ಅಶ್ಯೂರ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಆಲ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ವಿ ಇಂಪ್ಲಿಮೆಂಟೆಡ್ ನಾವು ನೀವೇನು ಸಲಹೆ ಕೊಡ್ತೀರ ಅವರ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ರಾಜೀವ್ ಗೌಡ ಇಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟೋ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಗ್ರೀನರಿ ಆರ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ರೋಡ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟೋ ನೀವು ನಿಮ್ಮ ತೊಂದರೆಗಳ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಈ ಈ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟೋನಲ್ಲಿ ಅಥವಾ ಚಾರ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಬರ್ತ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೀರ ನಾನು ಎಲ್ಲ ಓದ್ದೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂತ ನಾನು ಅಶೂರೆನ್ಸ್ ಕೊಡಲ್
ಆದರೆ ಇದನ್ನು ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಒಂದು ಗ್ಯಾರಂಟಿ ಕೊಡ್ತೀವಿ ನಾವು ಹೇಳಿದ್ದು ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಾವು ಹೇಳಿದ್ದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಅಕೌಂಟಬಲ್ ಆಗಿರ್ತೀವಿ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ವಿ ಸೇ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಿ ಅಕೌಂಟಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪ್ರಾಮಿಸಸ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಅಪಾಯಿಂಟೆಡ್ ಪ್ರೆಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಮೈ ಪಾರ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ಟಾಕ್ ಬಿಗ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಎಸ್ ವಿ ವುಡ್ ಎನ್ಶೋರ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಒನ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಒನ್ ಐ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಆಫೀಸರ್ ಹುಡ್ ಲಿಸನ್ ಟು ದಿ ಗ್ರೀವೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಮಿಸಸ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ವಿ ವುಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಇಂಪ್ಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ಹೂ ಅವರ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ ಟು ಪವರ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಸಿಟಿ ಇಟ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ರಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ರಿಮೈನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಐ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಸೇ ಐಮ್ ದಿ ಯಂಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಅಮಾಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಸಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಔಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ as the saying goes the world we didn't inherit from our father we have borrowed from our children we will definitely ensure to make it beautiful and give it to our children that is our manifesto and gopal krishna adiga has said kattuvevu naavu hosa naadondanu rasada beedondanu hosa nata rukkuki aari hoguva munna mantrikata maata masaluva munna utsaha sahasada uttunga veechigala ik shuddha sagaru batti hoguva munna ಕಟ್ಟುವೆವು ನಾವು ಹೊಸ ನಾಡೊಂದನು ರಸದ ಬೇಡೊಂದನು ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಸರ್ ತನ್ವೀರ್ ಸರ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಹೈಡಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಸೀಕ್ರೆಟ್ ದಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಸೆಟ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ಹೂ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಟೆಲ್ಸ್ ಮೀ ದಟ್ ಯು ಯು ಫೀಲ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಸಿಪೇಟ್ ವೆರಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ಪೊಲಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಡಿಬೇಟ್ ಐ ವುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಸೆಟ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬರ್ ಬಟ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ದಿ ಜೆಂಟಲ್ಮೆನ್ ದ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಡಿಡ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಅ ಟ್ಯೂನ್ it was not a debate it was a discussion deliberation and decision so we honored it thank you thank you everybody just wanted to say so the next uh, after 5 years when we come for the next election i hope many of these issues will not get repeated we'll have a completely new discussion that time and hopefully also at that point we will see uh, more women in the panel i'll request everybody to be seated please seated the uh, agenda and the program is not yet over yeah kindly be seated <coughs> kindly be seated uh, ramling reddy sir ashwath sir i think they have paucity of time prithvi you will also have to leave uh, tanvir sir nee vidira sulpo to ha so please Uh, this charter which has been prepared has a very high level enlisting of issues and we'll send that to all of you what we will do is that we will also combine all these points and questions which have come as an annex chart to the charter which is specifically issues which people have raised asked uh, which are specific to different constituencies uh, specific to different areas etc uh, and then combine that and circulate it to all uh, political parties uh, as well as to all of you so that it doesn't get missed and secondly Uh, i would like to welcome uh, professor rajiv gaur on stage please he is as i mentioned is uh, 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 ex member of parliament oh, come, come. satish thank you so so he's also been uh, uh, he is the chairperson of the newly constituted uh, apartment cell within the congress party so uh, like we mentioned we've been talking to all the political representatives from all parties it's heartening to know that i think there is willingness to engage willingness to communicate willingness to uh, discuss issues uh, like I, i i do hope at least in baf our intention is that this does not just become an opportunity to converse around elections uh, uh, it's a mutual responsibility like many of them uh, pointed out for them to talk for us to respond for us to go out and vote so the real test of character lies in the next uh, one and a half months hopefully where i hope all our member residents everybody comes out and votes emphatically and and may the best person win and make every vote matter but hopefully after that this also gives us uh, an opportunity to continue the conversation uh, prithvi sir uh, gaurav sir right we have to take this forward as well and i am looking forward to this as a as an opportunity to and a hook to take this discussions to action as well right so i'll briefly also take a moment to quickly introduce a two or three of our partners at bf what we are now also doing is that we are creating not just as a community 
uh, self help group but also creating a lot more uh, um, wisdom and action towards uh, doing things in collaboration with other specific partners we have started forming long term partnerships agreements etc to to bring some programs to our members which can be of definitive action so today we have a lot of our partners who are uh, present over here today as well but i would just like to quickly maybe uh, call out two or three uh, pa partners with we, with whom we have formed uh, long term uh, agreements as well first i would like to baskar if you don't want to come on stage uh, uh, baskar is the president of credai bangalore um, So, with Credai Bangalore, I think the realization was that there are a lot of issues and gaps which are affecting home buyers, which we, out of our experience of having interacted with communities, realized uh, that it is always a challenge. We have been solving problems, which is post facto. Uh, and in some sense, I think they also felt that there are a lot of challenges and grievances which is hitting them, and policy gaps which are uh, causing a problem to them. So we have sat together and said that how can we work together? Uh, one of the things which Baskar and team have committed is that they have formed a grievance cell, grievance redressal cell. At least as far as all the Credai members are concerned, they are committing to the fact that you know any issues with those builders, they will proactively take it up. One of the things that we have come up with uh, recently, and we would want to sort of uh, release that in your presence today is a home buyer's handbook where both our learnings and their learnings together both technical and and community aspects legal aspects of it is something which we have combined into a home buyer's handbook so that there will be much more knowledge to a prospective buyer going forward see today the lot of challenges that the average home buyer also does not understand what they are getting into what are the technicalities of it what are the laws legal i mean we don't expect them to have 100% expertise but at least to know what are the facets that they should that should uh, understand while buying an asset which is i mean they are putting their lifelong savings into is a key aspect so building more builder aware buyer awareness right is what has led to the uh, uh, conclusion of publishing the first ever jointly uh, collaborated uh, home buyers handbook i would request uh, if uh, my colleagues can yeah i mean in the presence of everybody <coughs> just Thank you very much, Suhail. Uh, so this uh, uh, is the first edition. Hopefully, we'll build on top of it. The idea is that you know this uh, will be available digitally and will be handed over to uh, any home new home buyer who wants to access and uh, get to know the uh, specifics of uh, buying a new home. And we are hoping that this will uh, build more awareness among uh, new buyers as well. So, Baskar and team, thank you so much. I think uh, this is just a first start. I know that I think there's a lot of mistrust between uh, buyers and uh, builders uh, for the right reasons and the wrong reasons. But I think we can't just live with that mistrust. We need to take action to say that you know how do we build that trust. As we all know, the the development in in Bangalore will only continue to grow unless we build a collaborative relationship. Then the home buyer will not be encouraged to invest into this uh, into this uh, home of theirs. Any quick thoughts? Thank you, uh, Mr. Nagraj Rao and Mr. Uh, Vikram, everybody, and BAF in, by and large. I mean, change is something which is constant. I mean, uh, the the process is something which will evolve, like Mr. Ramlinga Reddy, like he mentioned. I mean, you know, majority of the builders, they do provide a home which are uh, as per the regulatory norms, but do certain developers do do this, I mean, where which we get into for whatever reasons. But here we are coming out with a handbook and the, one of our first objective with BAF and Credai was to make a joint appeal. How the buying process, home buying process. So that is where we started. And uh, so that I mean all the home buyers are you know kind of because it's so much of hard earned money which is going in. And uh, there are a lot of disruptions which have happened and each one of you are putting so much of hard earned money. And we also uh, genuinely we do not want. I mean, few people's act, I mean, by and large, making an impression of the on la, no, no, la, the entire fraternity. So anyway, this is a uh, handbook what we are bringing in. I thank the BAF for coming forward. 
and this is the best move where in which a buyer and a seller if they can come together the lot of conflicts or confusions will be you know kind of eliminated thank you for that thank you yeah thanks thank you so much i would also quickly uh, like in to invite uh, sheril rebello from beyond carlton uh, sheril if you can please uh, come on stage so beyond carlton is an organization which all of you know was born out of a tragedy uh, of uh, carlton towers fire tragedy an issue which we don't focus uh, much enough um, on fire safety in fact uh, a lot of our members within our own apartments there's a challenge in terms of bringing more awareness towards uh, looking at fire as something which we need to build uh, i mean futuristic uh, risk management on a uh, lot of times when some incident happens then only we wake up we have seen in the last few years there have been i mean incidents of uh, 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 serious nature right where uh, deaths have happened so in this regard we are working with beyond carlton thanks to sheril uday and team where uh, we have kick started a program specifically targeted at our uh, apartment uh, estate managers because those are the people who are there on site they know the systems really well and to equip them with the awareness and information on how to be the first responders when the when a fire situation kind of happen is very very critical hence we have started an estate managers program thanks to uh, beyond carlton and team uh, i think they receive a need, need to be given a big round of applause i let uh, um, I let uh, Cheryl probably share a quick few words on uh, her view of. Uh thank you, Vikram, and thank you to BAF for organizing this wonderful interaction where we can see the value that the Bangalore Apartments Federation brings to uh, the residents and to people who, I think, are today very well informed and uh, know what uh, they know much more than. we knew many many years ago and so to have an organization which can bring and bridge you know between both uh the people who are we look forward to for many much more support and i'd like to say a big thank you to bf for really raising the awareness on fire safety not much attention is given to fire safety uh, generally residents have an apathetic view towards fire fire will not happen to me so i have to commend uh, particularly bf and uh, vikram in particular who said we will get it started and last year we ran the first uh, fire safety session called the hashtag fire sense 101 for estate managers and i must say uh, a big thank you also to jameer who coordinated very well with me and uh, my uh, colleague also vidya who's been in touch with bf for the years and helping us coordinate this uh we have a great plan and i think uh, this is the right way to go where we have a handbook of uh, of this nature where there is information available uh for every resident and uh, you will know also what you need to do as far as fire safety is concerned because we do believe that fire safety is about life safety it's about saving a life and uh, who better than beyond carlton to know because we lost lives uh due to a fire and the hard take away is that this could have been saved i mean this life could it need have happened it was small negligence and that's a very hard fact to live with so a big round of commendation to vikram uh, particularly because he he wrote the date and he made the date and we ran the session for estate managers we hope to continue it this year uh also raise fire safety buddies because fire safety is not just for the department uh it's not just for the management committee but it's for every resident of the building who needs to know what is my fire safety infrastructure why is it only the management committee or fire department it's a multi stakeholder approach that we need to take so we as residents can know what is a fire extinguisher how does one use it what's my safe assembly area simple things like that so thanks very much uh, vikram and mr nagraj rao in particular you all have been very supportive always there thanks so much i won't take so much time thank you well, thank you uh, uh, cheril you are profuse in my praise to me i i, <laughs> I always keep saying that it's it just requires i mean some of our roles is just to push it into action but the bigger purpose is out there for everybody to do so we have a target this year between us and bangalore 
uh, I mean beyond Carlton to have at least 100 uh, complexes and their estate managers to be trained in the FireSense 101 program. So it will require all your cooperation to nominate uh, uh, them to come participate in that program and get them. You have to send them to for a day. That's all it takes to get that uh, skilling program done. Uh, and we'll make it worth it, their time and effort. Uh, they will go back with a lot more knowledge uh, being the first responders. So thanks, Cheryl. Finally, I would like to invite, uh, uh, I think, Brinda and Bhavna, if they have, yeah, from Camp Mediation Services. Brinda, if you can come on stage, just please. Uh, and if you can request one of my colleagues to just quickly give a, yeah. Camp is a interesting organization. a mediation and an arbitration service uh, provider organization. Um, we see regularly that uh, our communities uh, are also, while there are a lot of, uh, uh, I mean, cultural uh, 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 positives, but there are also a lot of conflicts that we deal with. And I'm sure that with a lot of people who are committee members over here, those conflicts are very uh, regular, right? Uh, it does happen. There is conflicts between, uh, of course, builder, uh, buyer, conflicts between committee, residents, owner, tenants, pet to pet parents, non-pet parents, you name it also. There is all flavors of conflict happening over there. And in some sense, uh, it is it is those conflicts, if not resolved meaningfully, will cut down on the cultural integration which happens, which community integrations which happen, right? And for everything, you can't keep going to court, right? The problem today, and somebody mentioned, uh, the minister mentioned saying that you can go and take it up in the court. But the reality is that with court, how long will you go and take it? And is that a meaningful uh, avenue to go and solve a problem between neighbors, etc. I don't think so. At least we don't think so in BF. So I think what and a timely uh, conversation happened with their team uh, who actually are advocating and bring in a very interesting format of mediation and arbitration as a as that is done very popularly, obviously, as you all know, in the uh, commercial space, in the business space. But in the residential space, we are attempting to do and, and introduce that for the first time. So Bhavna and team Rukmini, everybody have come in as partners. So I want to hear, share the information in news that, you know, please, we'll popularize this even more. But whenever you have chances and, and occasions of there being some residential conflict between uh, different parties, do feel free to reach out to us. We always get messages. We always get emails of these issues happening. And to, till now, we have tried attempting to give whatever collective wisdom based input that we have always. But this is a more structured and professional way of handling conflicts in the residential communities. So uh, the camp team has come on board and uh, uh, is willing to help, uh, is willing to, in fact, we are also thinking whether a few of the BAF volunteers can also be trained uh, mediators to, to go and uh, participate. In fact, recently we had one of our cluster teams who had the opportunity to go to one AGM of a, another member apartment and actually mediate a conflict. You know, AGMs can be very highly electrifying and, <laughs> and conflict-oriented occasions, but they did a very good job. So we are very encouraged by the fact that we can play this role. But Bhavna, if you have any quick thoughts uh, on this. Thank you, Vikram. Uh, I take this privilege of letting camp come and uh, tell a little bit of a mediation. So mediation is a process where it's a third party, neutral party, who comes as a mediator and will resolve the disputes. Whatever, like it would be a petty, bigger issue, everything is all uh, taken care of. It. So I think Vikram has told you all of it. I think if you need more information, I have it all with us. So you can get in touch with us. And uh, we have a mediation desk put up now with, uh, tied up with BAF. So I think we can look at not going into court and we can get it mediated. It can be confidential also. And uh, we have like 80% success rate in uh, whatever cases we've done. And there are some cases which about 90% have been resolved within three months. So there are even some cases which have got, which have been there for like 20 years and they've come and within two days also have got resolved. So that's kind of a stories. We have a lot more success stories like these. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, and there are innumerable number of other organizations that we continue to work with. Uh, probably not able to uh, invite everybody on stage, but I, I see so many of them present over here in solidarity. In uh, in in in. See, we are just a network of uh, uh, people, residents. A lot of times, the strength to what we do comes from other CSOs, community organizations who are also experts who collaborate with us. So. 
a round of thank you to all our partners, collaborators, other co-conspirators from Bangalore CSOs uh, who enable us each other to, I think, uh, interact with everybody, maybe sometimes push the boundary, ask the hard questions. We should continue to do that. I think we should continue to work with each other. Uh, one round of quick thank you to our uh, sponsors, if I can uh, invite Harsha to come on stage, EcoSearch. Uh, they have, uh, we always have a band of people who support us on, I mean, we need to pay for all these things as well. So, but people like Harsha, can, if you can just, uh, uh, Vishnu, yeah. Do we have anybody from Paradigm uh, Services as well? If I can invite somebody, yeah. <coughs> yeah, thank you, thank you, Harsha, so much. Please do come. Uh, Paradigm is our principal sponsors today. Uh, they are into facility management services, so please do check them out. Uh, we'll send their messages across to, please, yeah. Uh, they, lot of sponsors don't come when you think this is a political event <laughs> for whatever reason, but yeah, Paradigm, EcoSearch, everybody have been kind friends to join us as well. Thank you so much to the Paradigm team. Correct, correct, correct. So, thank you so much, sir. Thank you, Nakul. Thank you, Nakul. Thank you to Ankur and team for having uh, joined us on this board. I'll hand the mic to Professor Rajiv Gaurav who has a couple of uh, special messages for us. Uh, thank you, Vikram, uh, Ms. Rao and the Bangalore Apartments Federation. Um, I, I've been here for the last two and a half hours and had an opportunity to see the kind of detailed and constructive and proactive engagement that has emerged from here, and um, especially the partnerships and uh, the constructive solutions that we're all striving towards. Now, um, in the same spirit, the Congress party, which I represent, has organized an event next Saturday morning at 9 a.m. at Hotel Ashok, where we will be bringing our state's top leadership, our city's MLAs and other representatives, including Mr. Ram Hingaradi was here, and we will be having an open interaction, manifesto consultation, a discussion on you know, all your inputs that we can integrate. Mr. Reddy was telling you that I'm in charge of uh, in drafting a manifesto for the city, and that will be part of our state agenda. He also pointed out that the last time we came out with a manifesto, we implemented about 96% uh, of the promises that we had made, and many others as well. So we take this process very seriously, and we'd like to invite you all. We've actually printed a formal invitation from our uh, president, Mr. Shivkumar. We'll distribute that as soon as I finish. And I urge you to come. I urge you to bring your colleagues, your uh, fellow apartment office bearers, to spread the word, because this is an opportunity. We'll start it with breakfast at 9 AM. And uh, I think uh, very shortly after that, we will have a very different format. This had uh, you know, a sort of a multi-party um, uh, perspective, but there it is uh, what you can do for, uh, what we can do together, the party and all of you, how we can build Bengaluru better. So that's really um, the thrust, and we will distribute, the, uh, I think you might as well start distributing the invitations right now. Um, so 9 a.m., March 18th, Hotel Ashok, please uh, join us, and um, look forward to see what we've done again, in terms of institutional changes, just like you're building these partnerships, we've instituted an apartment cell. I'm head of the research department nationally, but I said, let me, I live in an apartment, so <laughs> let me take the lead and build something which can become a continuous point of contact for the party with this, or with this constituency, right? And um, uh, you know, everything is developing in, in front of us. And I do remember when I see some very, very good um, products here, uh, Mira and Citizen Matters were amongst the first who used to put up a lot of this information uh, online, right? And so I urge you to put this all online again so that it's more uh, easily accessible. So this spirit of constructive engagement is something that we see very much in Bengaluru. And it's something that we, uh, from the Congress Party, want to take forward. We want to solve problems before they become problems. And so let's work together. I urge you all to come next Saturday, spread the word. Even if uh, they're not office bearers, if there are people who are active and interested in these sorts of issues, we'd welcome them. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you very much, sir. 
I would like to invite Vishnu to propose the word of thanks. Okay. First of all, let me start thanking with our panelists, Dr. Ashwath Narayana and Mr. Ramalinga Reddy and Mr. Prithvi Reddy and Mr. Tanvir Ahmed from respective parties, BJP, Congress, uh, AAP and JDS. And I would also like to thank the teams behind the scenes of BJP, Congress, AAP and JDS who have been co in constantly touch with us to make, make sure that this happens. And special thanks to our partner, knowledge partner, Citizen Matters and Mira and team for being anchoring this event and for future uh, constituency level events in future. And nonetheless, like, like Vikram already mentioned, uh, many brands did not want to come forward for political debate sponsorship. Thanks a lot for uh, Paradigm Management Services and EcoSearch for footing the bill and making sure that this event happens. Thanks a lot for them. And uh, thanks a lot to all our partners who have been on stage, off stage, etc. And to all the guests and to all our media friends who have been covering this and taking the news bites, etc. And we should also, we would also like to thank uh, Century Club for hosting us and making sure that this happens wonderfully. And we thank all our members, non-members, cluster leadership, and all the field teams who, who made sure that this event uh, has happened. And uh, for a concluding photograph, I would request uh, quickly our uh, organizing team to just come on stage for, for a group picture. And this is not over yet. Finally, you have one very interesting uh, topic from EGK team, where they're going to do a live demo on how the EVM voting can happen as a live demo. But uh, yeah. Thanks a lot, everyone. Once again, if I missed out anybody, apologies. Really, thanks a lot for making this event really electric and wonderful. Thank you.